Okay, guys, welcome to Annie Wood. It's our sweet 16 episode, and boy, is it a sweet episode. It's so cute. You guys, we're new here. We're just learning. We're learning about ourselves. We're learning about what we want to do, what we want to uh, vibrate out into the well, world. We just want to apologize for the last episode. And what we want to do is we want to say we're very sorry. <laughs> our, our vibrational level today is of, of gratitude guilt. you're still here and guilt. <laughs> <laughs> We are just, we're realizing we shouldn't be chasing no algorithm. We're not going to worry about, we're going to have to bleep the word algorithm. Just kidding. Oh um, my we are God. not going to chase this anymore. We'll just try to be good for the first 10 minutes of episodes and that's it. But we're just, we're just going to do our best. We want to be ourselves. We want to be authentic. I think what we're selling here is authenticity and, and a true hang. And we don't want to be censoring ourselves. And we censored. I mean, Doug Stanhope to censor <laughs> Doug. So we apologize. And to make it up for you, we are going to figure out a way to repost that uncensored. We're going to we don't care it. anymore. Yeah, we don't care if anyone even watches it. We just feel like we, we did to the world a disservice of. We did a disservice. And uh, as you'll hear in this episode, there's a new F word we have to worry about. And boy, did we lean hard into that F word. Yeah. Because we were blanking. We were beeping out. Don't say out. it, though, because we're just in the first 10 minutes. So we're just not going to do it in the first 10 minutes. What? You can't literally say that word. You'll see in the episode what we're talking about. <laughs> you can. It's all lies. Uh, everyone has different theories about what you can and can't say. It's just say. what you can and can't do. It's but but something baloney. did go wrong with this last episode. The last episode was suppressed. It could have been the time we released it. It could have been the, the, it could be the sound effect we used to bleep <laughs> things out. It could have been the amount of bleeps. It could have been anything. It could have been Doug's outfit. I don't know. It could have been anything at all. Doug's outfit screamed, this is a children's show. And the words we said did not. So who knows? Maybe it was too conflicting. But we are just going to be ourselves. We're just going to be ourselves. That's all that you can do at the end of the you day. You can just be yourself. Sing the song. To be yourself is all that you can do. I have another quick question. Have you had water in the past 48 hours? Because those, those Johns are chapped. No, I haven't, because you don't feed me water. Those Johns are chapped. There's like spit strings in your mouth. What's going don't on here? Start. What's going on here? Are you okay? You can't say the S word. Sorry, guys. Oh, I said it. You said guys, too. <laughs> what, sorry, I can't gender you guys. But we realize like, it's going to just hinder who we are, and that's not what we're about. So we're just going to like roll with this, and we're just going to assume word of mouth will get out, and we're not going to... We're not chasing anymore. We're not chasing anything. We're chasing our own selves. We're chasing our tails. So we have this good episode coming out. We have a beautiful episode today. It's so good. And the Welcome to Annie Wood tour is still going, going, Welcome to going, Annie Wood going. tour is thriving. We're having such a good time. Um, by the time this comes out, we'll have just been in... No, we're going to D.C. We're going to D.C. So when Guys, this comes come out... Guys, come see us in D.C. So it's the day before your Yeah, show. so come see us in D.C. It's going to be so fun. I love D.C. <laughs> You guys, we get it. You can read. DC is like, you guys are so smart. I get it. You guys are so smart. But we love DC. So we're going to be there this Friday and Saturday, the 24th and 25th. Then we're going to party with our with Todd's family. Right now, my nieces are in town. You can see pictures of me at the Wax Museum with them. Um, oh. Maybe Todd will add them somewhere. Maybe the next episode. But you can go on YouTube or on Instagram if you want. Next, you'll see us March 10th and 11th in Seattle, Washington. Ooh. We'll then be in Tampa, Florida, which is going to be a wild one. A lot of my friends from my ayahuasca journey are traveling to Tampa to come see me. And uh, same with my parents and Todd's uh -huh. mom. So it's going to be a very odd crowd, but I'm going to be in full force because I love to entertain not only strangers, but the people I know. Then we're going to be in uh, after Tampa, we're going to um greensboro north carolina the dates are not on my website right now but they will be up i'll make sure by the time this comes out so that'll be the following weekend and then um we're going to be in toronto at the comedy bar april 21st and 22nd raleigh north carolina at the improv may 12th and 13th salt lake city utah wise guys i love it there you guys beautiful skin we could tell love god loves you back i don't know maybe all your wives are are dabbing oil on your faces. I don't know what it is, but you guys are gorgeous. So that's June 9th and 10th. Then I'll be in Calgary, August 27th. There's a lot more dates that we're adding. And it's just really fun. we got a lot of cool merch. The meet and greets are fire. You do not, you are not, you do not have to <laughs> buy anything if you want to take a picture with me. 
Um, but if you want a little piece of the brand, we got a lot of stuff for you. New merch coming. It's what a beautiful else? thing. It's a beautiful th- Todd helps sell it. It's a beautiful thing. I just got a text from my brother that said, we're in the alleyway. So scary. All right. Anyway, guys, enjoy this beautiful episode. I'm going to go uh, hope, go make sure I'm saving my brother from whatever happens in that alleyway. Welcome to Annie Wood. Randy is here. Oh okay, so God. we have a special we have special guest today and one very special needs guest. It is Randy Jackson. <laughs> we got Randy Jackson Quaid, folks. Um he is going behind. Okay, he's going where all the electric stuff is. Oh, Randy, yeah. get away from there, boy. Randy. He's about to start a fire. I knew this was be a problem. Randy's a dog. We have Paige and Chelsea Randy, Lynn here. Hello. Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. Guys, this is gonna be a hectic, crazy one. We had we we finally got a. I said Todd, get a cleaning lady. I said Todd, it's time. My nieces are coming into town, and my nieces are ten and seven. We, he's definitely gonna bark. He's all fun's happening in here. Aww. We deal with dogs all the time. Oh yeah, oh, oh, dogs yeah. are great. Do they are they drawn to you guys? Uh, I feel like you guys yeah. are the type of people that have like meat in your pockets or something. <laughs> well, you're, doing, you're up to something. You're up to some sort of sketch that I'm lunch, yeah. a lunch meat. Yeah, Just a, yeah. like a raw steak in a back pocket. <laughs> in our ass cheeks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe inside your butt hole. <laughs> right, right. I do like, okay, there's a lot of things I want to talk about, but I gotta tell you what's happening at our house right now and why our dog is here. So I say to Todd, I go, Todd. You're in charge of getting us a cleaning lady, okay? Because there's only so much you can do, and I there's only so much I can do. Mm-hmm. It's very little. And Todd and I had this agreement at the beginning of our relationship that he would do 90% of everything and I would do 10%. That's Whoa, a great good agreement. Good deal. But he's doing 90% Damn. of the podcast, too, so he's busy. He's editing. Mm-hmm. You can't clean and edit at the same time, so yeah. there's only so much. Mm-hmm. And so I figure we'll get a deep clean in and everything. So I go, you get a cleaning lady. I give him my credit card. I go, go for it. It's I get a thing on my credit card. Six hundred dollars. <laughs> it's one of these services where you click all the things you wanted them to do. So, laundry, this many loads. This, so they just it's add. It's like oh. you know what it is. It's like um, Spirit Airlines, where it's like you think it's a cheap thing, and then once you add everything up, you get yeah, it. you yes. think your bags are free, right? Yeah, and then they're oh, not. No, it's five thousand dollars per bag. Oh, yeah. But still, what all do they do for six hundred dollars? We'll see. We'll see. Oh. That's not a monthly plan. No, no, no. This is a. This could be a one and done. This person could be in my wedding. I don't know. Yeah. We'll see what yeah. happens. <laughs> yeah. But we were laughing because we ordered it last night, really pretty late, around like what eight, maybe wow. six. Yeah, like seven. And they're there so, today. So we're thinking this person maybe it was like, oh, I got a call tomorrow and wasn't thinking. And then they probably woke up this morning like, oh my god, I got to go to Walmart. Yeah. I got to yeah, get a yeah, lot yeah, more yeah. things than I thought I was gonna have to get. Damn. And then, but then we're like, hope you get a good night's sleep. Like, oh. I wish you could message them, like, <laughs> sleep tight, because you got some work to do in the morning. Yeah, maybe got, that was $600, the... I'm going to be expecting a sparkle. Oh, yeah. You, yes. Maybe they added on some last minute, you know, like a 24-hour. Yeah, like, oh, you can true. call them, like, where's my sock? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, at 3 in the morning, like, I need this sock now. For okay. $600, yeah. He's about to he needs a special <laughs> sock, right? That too. That oh too. God. I've never done that. The sea. We were now, you guys understand the censoring of the world. <laughs> we know all about it. I'm trying to do better and not swear. Yeah. Oh, it's hard. Yeah. It's in my, because did your parents care if you cursed when you were mm-hmm. up to what age? Yeah. Mm. My dad never cared, but my mom. Yeah. We would always be like singing Eminem and yeah. my dad's car, and we'd get in my mom's car and just be like, Listening to Fleetwood Mac. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah. you know, we knew we could be cool around my dad, but. Damn. My mom, yeah. not so much. What about you? Well, my, I remember my family curses a lot. So they told us not to when we were a little, obviously, mm-hmm. but yeah. we did. Yeah. And it was exciting. And my dad would let us on roller coasters curse, but we would say all the wrong ones, you know? <laughs> We'd be like, ass, you know, like <laughs> we just didn't know how to use them. Yeah. But so the minute we were on 13, they let us start cursing. And that was just. That's a good was, age. Yeah. It was the end. Or I don't know if they let us or we just were like, we're. Did it and they didn't get onto you as much. We're tall enough now to yeah. curse. You yeah. wake you up, you're do? just like. Oh, I do remember waking up. I remember the moment sitting up and being like, I'm going to call you back. How about Whoa. that? Whoa. I'm going to call you back. And then my mom did a brilliant move where she's, she did a thing where she was like, I'm going to reclaim the word 
to mean something like empowering. I'm like, oh, right when you start getting called it, right. mm-hmm. it's empowering. Nice move, mom. <laughs> Damn, she got you. <laughs> yeah, yeah she did. And then, you know, my girlfriends would come over for sleepovers and it would just be fully like, hey. Yeah. But, I think it's okay. There's going to be some bleeps for Todd. Yeah. I don't know. Was it, is it the first 10 minutes or is it always? I I heard that from you guys. I've heard that from a lot of people. It's the first 10 minutes, but who knows? I thought it was the whole. They're always changing. They just changed it now to like the whole. Oh my God. The whole what episode? See, he curses too. The thing is, Mm -hmm. listen, I think it can relate. We're all a different type of white trash, right? Oh, Oh, for sure. Okay. I feel very kindred with you too. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I have a six pack too. I mean, we're so ripped. Yeah. It's just so funny because I don't have boobs. So when I wear that shirt, it does look a little. Yours looks like. Our real have, nipples are here. And those are the. Yeah. It looks like you have two double boobs. <laughs> two sets of tits. Which I yes. find body parts on the road. Uh-huh. And I found out that most people, I think, have a third nipple. Oh. Hidden on their body. They're really uh-huh. cute, too. They're real tiny. What? I would like to see like a full. I want like a full. I have yeah. a big mole. Yeah. Where is it? It's next. It's on the side of my boob is it raised yeah so i guess it kind of looks like a third nipple i have yeah i have like kind of like a yeah do you see how this is like it's almost like the Mm -hmm. little dipper oh yeah little dipper do you see my little dipper here yeah that's cute oh you got orion i got orion's belt okay we saw a chick with no tits really when was that at your show. Oh, removed? Oh. She got top surgery or what? Yeah. First, I thought she was born with it because she's like, uh-huh. I don't have any nipples. And I was like, that's cool. She took her and she's out? like, well, Ooh. I had cancer. I was like, oh. Oh, yeah. damn. Yeah. You could have told me that first. Like, yeah. awesome. So I'm not like, hell yeah. <laughs> well, all rangers are good. It is. It's, it's fun to see. I like when people get top surgery. I have a friend, mm. uh, Robbie Hoffman, who she's not trans, but she just was like, I don't like my boobs. Yeah. She's a lesbian. She's like, I don't need my boobs. So she cut them off and it's like, it is so, when she posts pictures, topless pictures, it's so cool. It's like so oh. like surprise. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, it just catches you. It's so cool. I bet that would feel good too. To just no be like, tits. <laughs> well, listen, as someone that's felt it, my I, I my boobs like when I get like really 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 fit are completely gone. Really? Yeah, just nips. Hmm. <laughs> That's my yeah. I can feel it now. Yeah, because I do it. not have boobs. Which it's just like a different. It's weird. We're all the same gender, you know. Yeah. Like what a different experience. And people are like three <laughs> different chests. I've never chest. had people not looking at my eyes. Huh? Maybe at my feet they'll be like. Mm, yeah. Mm. You have great feet. Do you do foot stuff? Thank on you, honey's I. No, I just, uh, I don't know, just born with great feet, Gorgeous. I guess. I don't thank you. Gorgeous Ooh. feet. And, you know, people are, they, It's that's what people want these days. Oh, feet. Love them. The feet. People yeah. are into the feet. The yeah. souls. They're always like, can I see your souls? I know. It's so, like, intense. Like, you want to see my soul? My yeah. soul. Take me to dinner first. <laughs> right, yeah. right, right, right. You want to yeah. peel these socks <laughs> off, baby? Come on. What the hell? It's weird what people are into, man. And, and it's like the yeah. internet, we never would have known, right? If the internet... Oh, and never. also, I feel like, don't you want it to be a secret? Isn't that like part of the hotness is like people don't know what your yeah, thing is? Yeah, that's true. Now everybody knows what's up. Everybody knows you're jacking off on feet. <laughs> well, people now know they can just ask and they may get it. Well, Todd <laughs> says he's not a foot fetish guy, but. You like to rub on feet? I'm not a foot fetish guy. Oh. When have I ever been foot fetish? What's Todd, the butt Todd for? said that weird. <laughs> yeah. I just feel like, <laughs> I don't sus. know. I just feel like maybe you're holding back. Are you holding back? No, she wants me to be a foot fetish. Well, I want to experience with someone I love and respect. I want to be able to give you the gift. Like I have, feel like I have virginal feet, you know, yeah. and people really, they're very sought after because I pixelate them. And I want to be able to give my man. Huh? Pixelate. What do you mean you pixelate? You I pixelate any- them all the time. Well, once I found out about wiki feet, I didn't know about mm. wiki feet. So you curl your toes and in? And I felt, I I, the Tom Brady. Remember when he did the underwear pose? Did you see that? He uh-uh. did a thirst trap and he was like covering his feet. Smart. Oh, really weird. Smart. He's like, you'll have to pay extra. I know. I was like, all right, Brady, you know what's up. Dude. But, but yeah, I, there was just, I felt a betrayal when I found out that people were looking at my feet just because I didn't know. So I didn't know when, like, I didn't know what I was giving away. Right. You know? Right. And so I just took them away. Right. And I don't give them anyway i always say i'll do yeah. it for a million dollars dude my feet. pixelated feet that's funny. Start, that's funny i have dude. pixelated socks too i'll give you some I'll oh send you some. my god they say Annie are they toe letterman on them that's are they toe great. socks that's hilarious if they are we got to do toe socks yes just really tease them that's funny once i figured out that feet were a thing I was like, okay. I just made it a validation like, okay, well if feet are a thing then it's okay if I show my tits on OnlyFans or anything else yeah. because 
Everybody people can go on Instagram and be, jack off to my foot. I did feel that way. Though. I went, you can't just give us our feet. Like, I remember being like, I can't just have like my feet. Like, I can't have like just a, a body <laughs> one part thing. off. Like right. one moment of just like right. not having to be sexualized <laughs> for one second. I know. You know, and it's over because it is fun to also to be. It's like both is like. Mm -hmm. They like burps. I was like a right. baby. I was a baby <laughs> slut. A what? In high school, like I, I had like oh, backward, yeah. backless shirts and stuff. Yeah, and yeah. Would you suck on a binky? No, that's cute. <laughs> that's a, that's... What's a baby? I never did wild. it like on time. Like I never. I always like liked dressing slutty, but I didn't like the reactions of being slutty. Oh, you know what I mean? yeah. So I would never have been like, mm, mm, like I didn't like. I don't know. It was weird. It was like controlling because I got you know. You grew up in the country. I'm sure you guys got hit on when you were like eight. By like <laughs> by yeah, your four uncle. Year old yeah, you're always like, yeah. oh, that's Sunday. weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're like, you're a pretty thing. You're like, yeah, I'm yeah. not even a thing. Yeah. Dude. Why are you doing this? Yes. But so I think I was trying to control it. It's kind of like doing comedy. Like you, you control the attention you get. No, that makes sense. Rather than how you control your dog. Mm -hmm. you throw a wild <laughs> She's your dog. You're the producer. Oh, oh he's Him's fine. Cute. Red, he's fine. He's doing come good. Up? Him just want to be on the podcast. He just. Let's let's just just I need a bajor. I want to sexualize my dog right now. <laughs> oh yeah, let's let's take a gander right, now, at this thing. Before I show it, he needs a bajor. I want to explain it before okay, I show it. Before I show it. Now, if if Randy was a real boy, he would be a school shooter. Oh, I'm sure of it. Yeah, it's he would have such trauma for oh. how little. He has no clue. He's just wandering through life, prancing around. He has no clue what's going on here. Oh. Okay, this is a male dog. Okay, let's see it. We're gonna look at Randy's wiener. <laughs> He's like, please don't. I couldn't see it at oh, first. Oh, my. That's very small. Yeah. You couldn't even see it. It makes sense. Randy. Sure. Randy. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. I wonder, Are you all right, Randy? I wonder it why some dog, I mean, same with you know humans. You know the girl you with just, baby hair curl? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's yeah. on Randy's wiener. Smaller. He's like Jack Jack That's off of on the Randy's Incredibles. Wiener. Oh, Randy. That's why he's he got such a good personality. I was going to say, uh -huh. he's trying to make up for it with his personality. <laughs> he is. He's so extra loving. He's like, I'll spoon you, I'll cuddle you. Aww. I've taken on your accent so fast and it's so exciting. I love it. I'm so excited. That must happen to you all. You must be like, I, everyone kind of has like a Southern drawl around I don't me. even recognize I have an accent until people talk about it. Yeah. And tell them in the grocery store and, and the mm -hmm. lady's like, where are you from? Where are you from? Yeah. I'm like, oh. And little Missy, where is you from? Little Missy. <laughs> well, you're from Jersey, so... You kind of have. Well, I'm Philly. He's Jersey. Okay. Oh shit. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't. Want, I was like, I was like, I don't want well, her to. No, she well, has been talking oh, but I've been more talking Jersey. more Jersey. Like when I, okay. the more we go home, the more I talk to my brother. Like I just really do get. And my nephews are. They have a little Jersey Philly Aww. accent. It's so. Cute. Well, yeah. My, my family's very so Jersey. Jersey. Really, but and his it, mom's Asian yeah. in Jersey, so that's an interesting. Oh, oh that's because wow. you can't. When you get into other like you, her, her dad's Chinese. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So when you get into the other um, cultures and stuff, then you start getting in trouble for taking the accent you know what i mean <laughs> like nobody gets in trouble when you no. do like a little twang yeah that's true nobody but if i'm like yo yeah. yo yo what up like, like, yeah okay nice try yeah. his mom is so hard to not go into like asian oh. accent voice because it's she's so funny it's like everything about her is like a gift it's a gift a <laughs> gift <laughs> what a cool lady she really is a gift i gotta she meet her do you like your um your I know we should FaceTime her. She's never lets anyone down either. She's so good. Do you like your significant others? Parents? Parents? Is that Did a tuba? You gong? Did you just hear the gong? I did hear something. Are you He's working on some experimental stuff. Oh. Wait, wait, stop. Yeah, you can't hear it a little bit. The vibration. It was kind of at the right time. Yeah, like, it's, pretty, it's not even like a song. Can you message him to put his headphones on? It's very yeah. soothing. He's yeah, he's cool. The headphones can fix the whole. He well, he'll just have his headphones in, and he'll be hearing it, but uh, it won't be like. It oh, sounds well. like he's that person on TikTok making the. Mm -hmm. I, have one. I bought one. Ooh. I bought one on Amazon. That's I feel peaceful. like I should have bought one from the Amazon. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, ooh, this is probably like not good. Oh yeah. God. I kind of want to keep talking through it though for now. Yeah. Go ahead. Sounds great. A little it's background cute. music. Yeah, we just like uh, talk about a little it. background music. It's like acknowledge it. We're just trying, not trying to pull off, but he adds background music to like if we start talking about something sad or that's oh, funny that's, that's hilarious yeah. that's funny good well, job, todd, todd is an emmy award-winning editor todd. hell yeah todd yes. 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 i plucked him from the basement mm -hmm. hell we heard. yeah yeah she got you if you want to if you want to meet my friends i have to not meet yours that was my abusive line oh, and look at him God. now i'm a stage girlfriend i'm like 
You want to you yes. want to make it in this biz? You got to listen to me. Look dead. at him now, running your pod. All his friends are arrested, Look. dead. One just got killed. Oh, oh my! Shouldn't laugh. <laughs> it was. It's not bad, but it's not good. But it's not bad either. Yeah. <laughs> he but, went out with a style. Let's just say that. That's yeah. my friend who just killed himself from um, I, ALS. I made a I made a dummy of him. Uh, oh wow! Stop. Rest in peace. Stop. My friend. Oh. oh my god! My friend was there. I was talking to him last night. We were laughing. We're tearing up and laughing. But it's like, here's the thing. Our ALS pal would love to be made fun. That's his thing. Oh, that's that's best sense of humor. So it's like, look at the legs are all jacked up. Because <laughs> he did that challenge. <laughs> yes. Oh my it's god! He shouldn't have put that ice on him. The cold water you will do that. You gotta get a shot. You gotta insert a shot of it's that. So <laughs> funny. How he's sitting, my poor guy, and he's sitting on top. Of his, we're prop comics. Oh I am a prop comic. God. So all the things he's sitting on are, are we have like our we have frozen embryos. So those are our like kids, our future kids. <sighs> We have a way to top them. These are all our heavenly things right now. What the Randy's fuck? Eating, I mean, heck, what the heck? Randy's got a foot fetish. She's eating the foot of one of our children. Oh, this is out of control. This is great, dude. It's so fun. Oh my god, this is great. I do like. Let's see what's going I do on. like my boyfriend's parents. Oh yeah, stuff. back to oh, that. Yes, back to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're Did cool. you like them right away? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I would just go, oh my pussy like i was just yes, myself around them yeah. and they caught on and good times we yeah. all played tennis together uh, all of you tennis well, players no me and his parents and his parents i feel like yeah. you could mess up a tennis court i'm i that long reach i'm learning mm-hmm. but i played softball in college so when we the first time she we hits played, it like barry bonds i will like literally like like they're like this is not softball you can't hit it that way she winds up i wind it's yeah yeah, yeah. but um no, I would be so scared. You're so tall. Like, yeah, I'm I, huge. If you came, <laughs> yeah, I'm a big the, old bitch. The other team's like, <laughs> yes. Okay. That was, that was in, winning streaks over. That was in junior high and high school. Every time I'd take the court to whatever, like, everybody's like, oh, God, this big bitch from Backerville, Oklahoma. Like, and when did you get tall? What, it, what oh, grade? Oh, oh. She stayed tall. Third grade. Third grade. I, was, I was a foot, foot and a half taller than everyone in the class. Did you get your period before everyone, too? Oh, I was girl? 12. Yeah, I was 11. Okay, but there was a girl, our tall, our tall girl, got her period when she was like eight. We're like, how do you oh, have it already? Damn. We're just learning about it. We're like, what? Yeah, yeah. And she was like, I can tell you. She's like smoking a cigarette. <laughs> I'll tell you all about this nightmare. She's oh. teaching the class the sex ed. <laughs> See, she's teaching sex. Ed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's like, where Sit did down. you two find each other? We met at a meeting. Mm-hmm. It's where we met, literally. Really? literally. It's so funny. At a to meeting say that. for a TV show that we filmed and that never came out. I worked on it for five years. <laughs> An AA meeting. <laughs> yeah. Like, wow. um, you, yeah. You had the bottles up your butt. You're like, oh yeah. I need to bad? stop doing Is this. Is this kind of a relapse? <laughs> <laughs> I'm chugging it through my ass. Um, <laughs> it's a prolapse. <laughs> we met there and just were like literally in that lobby became best friends. It's been weird. We I started taking guys. pics together and yeah. then in the meeting they're like Chelsea and Paige have known each other since high school. High school. We're like, no. I, go, I just met her 10 minutes ago. I love that. And they're like, what? I go, I literally just met her. Mm-hmm. I feel like I could be her third. I do yes. feel that. Okay. I like you guys immediately. Ooh, That's why we're same. all here. Yes. Uh-huh. Same. Exactly. I know you were like, you know, I don't have to come on. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, we just don't, we're just, we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah. But, yeah. I didn't want to throw anything off. But I love no. the way you guys, you just have good chemistry. You're very like, almost like an improv troupe as far as like, yes, ending each other, supporting, just pushing, making the bit bigger and bigger and bigger. Thank oh you. Oh my gosh. Thanks. Cause we were just talking in the car. Hell, what were we doing? Like what I'm doing right now. I don't even know what you're talking about. We were saying, like, Chelsea... We finish each other's sentences. What is she saying? What are you talking about? What no, because we've been on a lot of podcasts together recently when... And it's our first time being oh, on another... Together, on yeah. a podcast together. And we're like, I've hey, noticed tell them about this. And she's like, yeah. I've noticed sure. that I'm like a stage... Like, the last few times I've been like a stage mom. Like, oh, Paige, tell me about the time. <laughs> oh, Paige is really good at... Yeah. Like, oh, I gotta, like, calm down. I don't know if that's bad, though. Okay. I like that. Because okay. I think it's like, you see the best in her... And you want, like, you're like, everybody's got to see this. Because yes. that's how I feel, too, where I, I, I'll, i like, pimp my friends out, too. Yes. Okay. But it's fun to sometimes do Good. it, like, to mess with her, too. That's you know? true. Oh, yeah. Tell For them that sure. story about, and it's just, like, the most horrific story. You're like, oh, yeah. um. Uh-huh. Or it's a fake story. Yeah. <laughs> make up a story. Yeah. we yep. I dropped a couple of those for sure. Uh-huh. To I, show. Then I feel bad after. I'm like, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, oh, whatever. Oh, but, my God. Fine. No, I just, yeah. whatever. Not, I just, like spray my trauma on everyone hell yeah someone commented on something i don't know where it was i'm a i'm a comment reader 
I, oh, yeah. it's, 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 I, I mean, it's right there. I can't read. Here's the thing. I can't read unless mm. it's like in comment form. Like mm. if you put a book in front of me, I fall asleep. I'm dyslexic. It's I'm gonna reading, be like, comment the form. last words here. I'm like, what is this? I sound like Yoda. If it's a comment, I'm like. <laughs> That's funny. I have a For monocle in. I'm like, hour, ooh. Really. I'm all of a sudden an intellectual. I'm like, Do I you respond? So I don't respond. Really? I'm a responder. Unless Me I have too. a very, very funny thing to say. Like, if it's like yeah. so funny that I'm like, this is going to like blow mm-hmm. up. It's going to be my best comment. I'll do it. <laughs> but I find like, it's like, I don't know. When you comment back, it, it, I'm too, it opens up your boundaries too much, I think. Yes, you you are right. Even not knowing you read it, but it's like, I hate mm. when people are like, I don't read comments, but it's like, you obviously read yeah, comments. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but I'm reading and so responding. so funny. Like, oh, sometimes the mm. comments are the best part yep. of uh, what you post. Yep. A YouTube, whatever. Like, sometimes the comments are funnier than the post. Yep. Oh. Well, we, what we do on our podcast is we have people um, share their wins. So, like, their best thing that happened in that week. So then it's like positive stuff in there. And then you still get people talking crap but it's like i have to say crap a lot now i uh, know i'm like a crud sayer now crap i like it oh i like it God. yeah but uh, it's, good. it's a good challenge it's yeah it's i've been working on it for about a year so i'm good i'm happy yeah i also say like a lot there's a couple filler mm-hmm. words i want to get rid of oh yeah i've been trying to get rid of that one a little bit mm-hmm. but a it's, bunch of things it's a lot and i you mm-hmm. know but what i was gonna say about this comment someone said it was like Drew Barrymore has been through way more molestations than you, which is so funny. <laughs> which, by the way, is so funny. I'm like, I want to get Drew and have a molestation off. Like, oh, yeah. you have both Ooh, your ear? Yeah. You know, let's, like, let's talk oh, about your you molestations. Oh, you your ear both ears? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Um, the old hearing aid. Oh, my but, God. Um, I've never heard of that one. I made that one up right now. <laughs> oh, no, the Drew Barrymore oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. I didn't hear it either, but I mean, uh, probably she was, but I think most child actors are, but, but I don't know that. She said she so didn't hear it either. <laughs> I didn't have heard of yeah. it, but they're like, but, uh, but that's the point they're making. They were like, she's been molested way more than you, and she doesn't make it her platform. And I'm like, oh, I'm uh, like, look, so what? <laughs> oh so maybe God. she should I know but yeah. I'm like I feel like well then I, she doesn't care I diddle I diddle I diddle in my diddlings you know I dabble in my diddlings I share my stuff you know mm-hmm. and then I get all these people are so they come up to me and it's so precious they're like thank you so much for being Aww. so like regular about this so I like it so I bring it up like sometimes I'll forget to do the jokes my bits on weekends and I feel like sad i'm like oh i forgot to like kind of shout out to my molesteds and yeah molesteds the chosen ones baby. yeah, yeah. Molesteds have the last laugh baby yeah. drew barrymore come over to our club baby shout those molestations <laughs> Just let yeah. me shout it out you can do it here first on anyone dude that's new merch shout those molestations shout those molestations uh-huh. do you remember shout your abortion that was a rough no, time no i don't know oh, <laughs> I, that was a rough liberal time i guess i skipped that one crazy crazy i skipped that one i guess i didn't hear it it was like to to try to like desensitize abortion yeah. like, but this was before they overturned Roe versus Wade and I was like oh. guys I don't think you should be shouting them just like pretend you didn't have any <laughs> be like we don't really even get them what are you talking about but so they're like I've gotten 17 abortions because I have a podcast I have to keep going okay oh, how am I supposed to do my podcast and have all these kids yeah. and you're just like Ooh. oh wow so then you're like okay and then look it didn't quite work out the shouting I honestly never even heard of Roe v. Wade until maybe that Billie Eilish song and then <laughs> And then, yeah, when it popped up uh, before that, though, never heard. I she I wouldn't even know, what, know who Brad Pitt is if she saw him on the street. That's fine. She does not know pure, anything. Pure. <laughs> but I don't know like, pure if Roe or Wade is the good one. I don't know who's what it's, side. Yeah. And, I, don't, I don't know either. Oh, I and thought I it sounds like a store. Yeah. yeah. Roe versus Wade, Roe v. Yes. Wade. Roe v. Like, Wade. That's where you like an urban outfitter mm-hmm. type. Yeah, that's where you get like... Um, <laughs> Abortions or whatever. Abortions. Yeah, abortions. Cute, like the, really like with flat brim hats and like yes, yeah. different looks. Oh, cute style. Cute yeah, but aesthetic. I, just, I try to not touch too much on things that are. Uh oh. <laughs> hot. What is she? Things that are. Well, not hot, but like. You know, like, you, what are we doing? You're we're all that fun. people. Yes, that's yeah. how I am. People bring it up, but then we can make fun of it yes. once it's brought up. But it's like, you're always like, ooh, do I really want to be like... That's how I am. And today, yeah. uh, mm-hmm. the Senate... Mm-hmm. Cause, oh, cause that's, yeah. every, that's everywhere anyway. And I feel like a lot of people come to our stuff just to almost just have a laugh yeah. and get away from mm-hmm. that I like type of confusing stuff. people a little bit. Like, part of me wants to, like, release a special on, like, Fox... What's the new thing called? Fox Nation. Fox Nation. Fox Nation. And then one on like 
some sort of really like liberal, like have a liberal, mm. like a blue one and a red one. And yeah. Just go hard both ways. You go hard <laughs> yeah, both just ways. Just release them at the exact same time. <laughs> yes. It's funny that like blue and red are just like a, the, a division. Yeah. A color. Isn't yeah. that? I know. Purple's like the best color ever. Yeah. It's just oh, colors. Purple. They're just colors. Yeah. They're just colors. Yeah. People yeah. need to chill. We just, just all relax. need to be colorblind. <laughs> yeah. I'm colorblind. Colorblind. Me I, too. I see nothing. This is a black and white as far as, this could be 1920. I have no clue what's happening right now. <laughs> and as far as the rapisms, um, I mean, some everyone deals with it a different way. Mm-hmm. Some people don't like to talk about it. Some people mm-hmm. do. So, mm-hmm. so do exactly. you. So do you, boo boo. Isn't that right? I'm exactly. going like my southern now. I'm like, that's right. Life. But it is true. It's like whenever all of the hot button topics, it's kind of like they come down to like. I want everyone to do what they love. You know, like I want you to love yourself, make yourself happy. Like I don't have plastic surgery. I want to make fun of your plastic surgery a little bit, but you can also have it. I want you to be happy. If you, it makes you happy, that mm-hmm. makes me happy. But yeah. I do want to make fun of it a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's true. It's weird to not talk about. <laughs> we see it, but I feel the same way, it. dude. Hell yeah. Yeah, but it's like, just have fun. <clears throat> oh, always. Um. Okay, so do you guys have wiki feet ratings? We do. Oh, yeah. They're good, aren't they? I think I think mine's pretty good. Is it, was How it one out of five? Feet. It. Yeah, it's one, one out, out of five. five. Beautiful feet. And have look. you ever read the comments on there? My comments are <laughs> so funny because I pixelate them. They're very mad at me. So they, so they <laughs> yeah, got should you. We, maybe should we gander yeah. to the Let's wiki, look at our wiki comments? feet. My, I just, I, I've, I've been on there a couple times and I remember the comments were hilarious. And these motherfuckers uh-huh. will. You post a picture, it's on Wiki Feet two minutes later. You're posting on your toes? story thinking it's going to go away in 24 hours. Turns out, yeah, it's not. They know your shoe size and everything, dude. Okay, so I does know, this really mean? Weird. Does this mean like over six million people have looked at these yeah, feet? I think yeah. so. Oh wow. Okay, that's a they lot. Feet of the year. Oh, I should be on there for <laughs> sure. Honestly, I feel like when I do come out, like I need my when I come out with my feet, I need to be really. But here's the thing: Quentin Tarantino's been hanging out at the comedy store. He's a foot fetish guy. I'm like, look, if stuff happens, like if he wants to put my feet in a movie, maybe that's where I make my million. Yeah, yeah. I just mm-hmm. see a comment that says, "Yikes, dude!" I'm almost I, that's a, so funny. You, by the way, have gorgeous. Feet. Thank you, dude. Almost a solid five. Feet. Look. I am wow. almost <laughs> literally a solid five. I wonder if anyone has, because here's the thing. If, I feel like if you like feet, you like all feet. So I wonder if anyone really even has a bad rating. Because they might like bunions. They might I think like there fungus. Are, there's always someone that likes something. There's people that like the stink, <clears throat> the smell. I've been trying to figure it out. Oh, a sure. lot of them love the stink. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> That you're corner, you're pretty that's good. Angry. Yeah. They're so angry at me. Those little that little corner is pissed. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! What do you have to do to get that corner? Show let my me, feet. Let me read. <laughs> let me read this listen. comment. <clears throat> Her feet are reasonable to good. <laughs> Almost four stars from me, and that's very good coming from me. <laughs> remember the foot kind of sore. <laughs> remember. Remember, there's someone for everyone. Foot wise, pretty good. And there will be a few that will really love her overall attitude and and submit to her plentiful charms, but it won't be me. (laughs) I do respect her more than decent feet, though. What the fuck? More than decent? More than decent feet. That's what they'll do. Even the guys that are mad at me, they'll be like... She her feet are just like you know a little above average. Like they can't like they're so turned on by her feet that even when they're mad at us, they're like they can't not compliment them. It's cute because yeah. if you think about it, it is like to to bow to feet. You're in the prayer position. The bow. It is a worshipy type thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. stretch but I guess the to back. Me it's like don't worship me and and blind i didn't know yeah worship this pussy i worship don't know this. though i mean yeah. feet if that's what gets them off and i can just be out in public and. You're walking around Kroger and they're just like getting hard looking at your feet. That's what happens. I might need yeah. to put a piggy bank down there. Well, they also, yeah. like, I'll see clips of like people on like Instagram or TikTok where they're like, oh, it'll be a girl like, I'm at a gas station. Guy just asked for to take pictures of my feet for 20 bucks. You're like, oh my God. I would have let him. <laughs> oh my God. So funny. As a wiki feet gift shop, by the way. 
Ooh. That, Ooh. Maybe when I expose okay. my feet, I should start making socks with my actual feet on top. That's funny. I do have like socks that have fake feet on them, and I wear them uh, through TSA all the time. That's I like to good. always have like a new, a little joke for everyone. Yeah, that's, that's cute. cute. That's that cute. Is great. Right. Dude. How'd you Whatever find a you comment? Do oh. do what you want. If you want to delete this comment, but she is an insult to the entire foot fetish community. <laughs> what? You have to have some pride and self esteem, boys. Can I oh. see your feet on there? Yeah. The, oh, I was the gonna ones take my they're shoes grabbing? Off, yeah. All right there. It's so funny. There's oh like, okay, look, look at the first one. My ex boyfriend and I both broke our foot at the same time. Oh, my. They, they, they put the tips on there. The tips. They can barely, okay, look. The tips. Barely see them. Man, if you have half of a toe in the corner of the. Cash. The picture they'll they'll put it on it's wiki so feet. It's so funny. They'll put it on wiki feet. It's so funny. Oh my Are you still a five laugh. star? I, oh, I was just a four of like a four and a half. This is not acceptable. Went down. <clears throat> I honestly. <laughs> Okay. Somebody that's fucked up. Somebody screenshotted my pic. That's took fucked it. Up. Guys, we're trying not to curse. Can you not? Be oh, so oh, yeah. No, not you. Oh. No, the people. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna say fuck too. How fucking dare you? Yeah, we're it's trying ridiculous. to be good girls here. Good Christian girls. It's ridiculous. I get pedicures, man. Come on, give me five. They're stars. actually beautiful. No, I'm, I'm looking at your feet. They're absolutely perfect. This one's funny. Spoke with Paige on Instagram, and she appreciates her foot fans. <laughs> we're the opposite. This is so cute together. <laughs> Look, uh, look, half of your lips. Yes. I they told you a hands. tiny little, a tiny little <laughs> foot nail, and this they they got you in there, right there. Tiny. And then, and this is before I knew. And then I did my friend's podcast, and I accidentally shoo- showed oh, a foot. Whitney Cummings, it's hard. We were just at Whitney has a. She cannot <laughs> stop posting my feet online. I'm like, I have a bit <laughs> I've been doing, Whitney. <laughs> That I've been doing, and the bit just, it's as long as I can go. That's the whole thing. It's like, how she exposes long you every time she forgets. And she's like, I'm sorry, I can't remember all your things, your bits. God, that's funny. It's Showing so funny. Here's your one feet. from Whitney's. Oh, um, they, they screenshotted it they and got gotcha. you. And then, look, I'm wearing one of those bra Top, tops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cute. Oh, my yeah, God. It's funny because it's like, damn, are we just supposed to wear feety pajamas all the time? I right. know. It's just, well, I just like to have control over what, but maybe I just need to let go of that. Someone once that was like, what if you could just think of all the joy you'd bring all the foot fetish guys if you just like let them out? And I was like, I mean, I guess, but it's funnier to tease them. Oh, it's hilarious. And it's a fetish. Like, guys, I'm just <clears throat> messing with you. Like, it's more fun if it's like mm-hmm. a cat and mouse. Okay, wait. I think. I'm gonna join that foot um what's the Where? foot app like OnlyFans but for feet. Oh yeah. I've oh, heard is that. there one? Yeah, I, only feet. I've heard something yeah, like that. Like only feet, I think. Wow. Something like that, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what if I just did a complete change? <laughs> just went ball <laughs> just went <laughs> balls deep. Dude. Well, that's Why what do you do need to do. I'm loading in this gallery. Here are a few reasons that occur to me. One, she has nice feet. Two, we understand that she's a comedian and she might not be serious, but if she is serious, she's entitled to believe whatever she likes, even if we don't necessarily like it or agree with it. I like this person. Whoa. Okay, Bob. Bob's about to get a toe. I'm about Bob. to send you a pinky toe, Bob. <laughs> Bob. Bob, I'm getting horny. Bob. He goes, three, <clears throat> we aren't babies and we aren't overly sensitive about this quirk of ours. We understand that many people don't understand and we accept it. This guy's great. Dude, he's getting into it. I love it. His, that was, that was. That was beautiful. Life revolves around feet. You and, can tell. Yeah. You and can he, tell. But, but he knows <clears throat> that it's like, that's on him. He yeah. goes, this is my, this is my thing I'm into. And I will accept whatever I get. I wow. wish she would terminate her little joke already. Uh, her feet are far from ugly. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, have you seen Bob's picture though? Did it show you the picture? No. No. What is it? Show Bob. Is it a. Mugshot? Oh my god, it is a mugshot. Like, oh Damn, god. dude. A mugshot? Bob. Bob. I'm gonna come visit. Oh my god, I'm gonna visit him in prison and put my foot up on the thing instead of my hand. Bob. Yes. Oh my god, we'll do foot instead of hand. Prison He's touch. He's in prison, right? In that? You gotta get a picture of Bob in here. Yeah. Bob, just my ha- king. Hanging my up foot on daddy. The- Bob, you're my foot daddy. Bob. Unless he just grabbed that from Google Images. Oh. I know, because that is like. No, weird that's to- Bob. Let's 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 just let that be Bob. Yes. That's Bob. Yeah. Why did 
gonna call it a hemorrhoid if it's in your ass. But an asteroid when it's in the hemisphere. Hmm. Yeah. God damn it. Woohoo! I don't know if you guys have noticed. I'm getting pretty ripped. She's slimming down. She's getting richer. And I'm getting rich because I'm saving money on food because I have gone all in on Daily Harvest Baby. Our lives can get a little hectic. Ours is a lot more hectic. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, Daily Harvest does more so we can do less. Todd, tell them what they do. Daily Harvest delivers delicious harvest bowls, soups, flatbreads, snacks, smoothies, and lattes built on <laughs> organic fruits and vegetables. <laughs> tell me about the lattes. I like the lattes with a little mocha, a little bit of creamer, oat milk I'm into You're these days. You're adding stuff to them? It's not <laughs> healthy anymore. Todd knows how to junk up some healthy food. Let me tell you. Todd and I are doing different things, okay? I'm trying to stay young, fit, and healthy. Todd's trying to get fat, old, and match me at my age. We got an age gap here, guys. Todd's trying to come up. I'm trying to come down. We're going to meet somewhere in the middle, okay? I love Daily Harvest because it never uses artificial preservatives or ingredients and everything stays fresh in the freezer until I'm ready to enjoy it. And it reduces food waste. And that's, you know, that's the there's best enough part. waste. There's <laughs> enough waste in our house. Bugs <laughs> flying around, Randy throwing up. Yeah, yeah uh, we, we buy the food, we put it in the fridge, we forget about it three days later. It, it's all moldy. It's all disgusting. And <laughs> what do we do with it? By supporting farmers who invest in improving soil health, Todd improves soil health with his cacas <laughs> and delivering. He usually just squats down in on our plants. Like he just poops right into the and um, then I rake it in plant holder and he fingers. rakes it in with his fingers. Brandy <laughs> eats, he eats and he loves cacas. Anyway, by supporting farmers who invest in improving soil health like Todd does and delivering food in recycled packaging. It's very cute. Daily Harvest does the work. So all you have to do is eat. Let Daily Harvest do more so you can do less. We have too much to do. We're busy people. We're ripped and rich. Go to dailyharvest.com slash Annie to get up to $40 off your first box. That's dailyharvest.com slash Annie for up to $40 off your first box. Todd, tell me about when you had your first box. How old were you? 16? Anyway. Don't start. Dailyharvest.com slash Annie. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Todd and I have been fighting a lot. Tell me what we've been fighting about. About who is more empowered in this relationship? I'm more empowered. <laughs> Todd and I never fight. <laughs> Todd, what's the last fight we had about? You about... left poop on the toilet seat? <laughs> no, it's not a poop commercial. <laughs> he always misses the hole of the toilet seat. He's a stander. Todd stands. No, 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 no. Todd stands to Kaga's. Go ahead. When you feel empowered, you're more prepared to take on everything life throws at you. And Todd, what did you throw at me? I threw a handful of Cacas? gargantuas <laughs> at you. <laughs> I learned how to duck emotionally in therapy. Therapy can get you to that place. Look, therapy is very important. If I hadn't gone to therapy, I never would have met Todd, okay? I still would have been waking up with the screamies. She'd be sticking her head in the oven going, hey, anyone in here? Anyone in here? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, 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 what's going on? I'm going to write a poem and then hop in here for the last time. Let's just say when I used to go out to swim, I wasn't sure if I was going to come back in. But now I always return to shore because I love my bow and I love my life and I've learned to live it empowered. I used to, I didn't even call them dreams back in the day. I called them screams because I was dating very abusive people. They used to scream me awake. <laughs> they used to scream me awake. But you know what I learned? Not to blame outward. I had to look at myself and go, what's going on with myself that is allowing myself to date the screamers? BetterHelp is a therapy option that is convenient, flexible, flexible. affordable, and entirely online. Oh, we love online. Honestly, who has time to not be online? I mean, I don't even want to. I don't even want to get in my car. I don't want to look at the sun. I like blue lights only in my face. He doesn't look at the sun. He's not a Huberman fan. <laughs> Fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime. No additional charge. Easy. Listen, have you ever had a therapist that sucks? I've had therapists that are the worst and you got to just, ooh. if I had had the option to just close my laptop on them, I would have been so happy. So this gives you your power back. You get to switch therapists. You don't have to deal with the hurt feelings. You just move on. If you want to live a more empowered life, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash Annie Wood today to get 10% off your first month. That's 
BetterHelp, H E L P dot com slash Annie Wood. You never know what's waiting for you online. Give yourself a sense of security with Atlas VPN. With more than 6 million users worldwide, Atlas VPN was created to make the internet accessible and secure for everyone. Look, guys, <laughs> I take my security in real life seriously, okay? I don't want anyone knocking me in the head. I take my personal life into my own hands every day and I protect myself. Why would I not do that online? Listen, this head completely empty is hollow. Had... There ain't nothing in there. So we need security online to help her. To protect this empty space. <laughs> Here's the thing. When I'm on those dark, scary websites, I'm always scared someone's going to hack in and look into my uh, camera hole Here's and the thing. watch me spanking the old monkey. Here's the thing. We don't have enough <laughs> band-aids in our life to cover up those cameras. Todd's up to no good. And here's the thing. Todd uses every computer in the house and he has put on a lot of weird things. What I'm saying is Todd puts us all in danger. <laughs> Todd's habits online have put us all in danger and I have no tools to protect myself until now. This is what I needed. I needed Atlas VPN. <laughs> This is more than just a VPN. Atlas VPN blocks all malicious links, ads, and trackers and notifies you when someone is trying to steal your data, even if it's coming from within your house. You know, I like to go on the dark web. I like to buy random boxes from the dark web and I open it up and hopefully I find a, a cool like knife or something. One some time he found, found Gwyneth Paltrow's head. You're not even going to believe it. <laughs> Atlas VPN protects all your devices with a single subscription. Plus, Atlas VPN lets you set your location so you can see what your favorite streaming services are offering in Gay Paris <laughs> or Jolly Old England. All right. Okay. Gay Paris. And just for my listeners, Atlas VPN Premium is just $1.83 per month plus three extra months, all with a 30-day money-back guarantee. That's $1.83 per month plus three extra months. Just click the link in our show notes. Protect your privacy with Atlas VPN for a ridiculously low price. That's a dollar, guys. Two dollars. It's nothing. My God, it's nothing for your own protection. This is so fun. Oh, uh, yeah. Chemistry. You we know love I mean? reading I'm comments. Like, by the way, guys, did we go to high school together because we have chemistry? Oh, my God. Shit would have oh. went, went down. Can you imagine? <laughs> No. Well, we're, you're like, you're a little younger than me. You're very much younger than me, but Todd's the youngest. How, How old are you, Todd? Todd? Well, actually, he's the same age, I think. Wow. 28. Okay. You're 28, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. 28, mm -hmm. yeah. You're 34? 34. 34. Yep. 39, baby, I win. <laughs> I win. Mommy. Mommy with I'm abs. Bob's age. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> How do I get? Get back to wiki. Here. Oh, wait, oh, you know what it is? I think it took me to like another... Working the phone is so hard. Like, why the three-step process to turn on a flash? And by the way, can't I just go, oh, I know. And, then, and you can't, you have to do, for meet and greets, have you learned the flash trick so it doesn't do the calibrating thing? No. When you take a picture and it's dark, your phone will like, oh, try to adjust. So do you know how to fix that? Yeah, uh, no. You have but, to go into, on your iPhone, you have to go into the, oh, I don't know how I'm going to explain this. You have to do like the. The swipe up on the photo. Here, look. We need to figure this out. You have to yeah. do, because this is very helpful. And, uh, we can screen grab this for the fans. All right. So if you're going to take a photo with flash, instead of just putting this uh -huh. flash on. You get that. do this. You have to do the this, the arrow. You're right. The swipe up. Yep. Yeah. And then you do this flash. Yes. And then it will never. Oops. And then it will never do that long calibrating thing. Yep. And I didn't. And it it takes took me 45 minutes. To do. took me forever to find that out, too. Longest meet and greets of all time. Yeah. I, yep. Thank you for letting me teach you something that you already... We call it letter mansplaining. No. When someone <laughs> fully knows and actually said three swipe and I went, well, because, no, 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 let me show you. No, well, I, I will help I me. will show people that. They're like, oh my God, I never knew how to get... I'm like, it's... Wow. They don't tell you how to do this I shit. I gotta write a bit about it so I can okay. show people in the audience yes. what to do. Yep. Hey, before the meet and greet, I need you all to grab your phone. <laughs> grab your Guys, phones. grab your phones. Yep. So just what do I do? Press oh. on. And then you do on for that yep. one. But you can't, This just pushing this won't won't do. No. Won't suffice. God forbid. Yeah, but that's still button. three steps. It used to just it was be three like, steps. Yep. I know. It's ridiculous. No, you were right. You knew exactly what you're talking about when I then stopped and explained it to you. 
<laughs> when I stop the flow of the show to explain it to you. <laughs> the flow. Yeah, but I thought you were making it so it would just stay on indefinitely. Mm. Yeah, just nope. You got to mm. do it every time. Damn. Mm. Come on. Love your highlights. Come on, Steve. Just Are got they my, natural? Very natural. No, oh, I yeah. just got them done. I'm, I have like a dark blonde hair, but I like to go really slutty. The fact have she says, are they natural? Are they natural? <laughs> well, the front ones were the ones that got me. Yeah. Where I was like, oh, maybe she does Ooh. have like. Oh, wow. But then it was like, it, it is. Yeah. I say made me look like a Daytona Beach whore in 1993. Listen, Florida is my mm-hmm. end goal. Okay. I mean, that's like mm-hmm. where I, I aim to be as Florida as possible. Yeah. Florida love understands. It. Oh, I love everything. Florida. Love Florida people. Mm-hmm. My ship. They're the best. Yeah. Well, we're actually going to Tampa. That's going to be the best. He- have for you sure. in Tampa? Yes. I have. Weekend. I'm about to do a whole Florida run. Oh, cool. I wonder if we're going to be there at the yeah. same time. When are you there? Uh, it's pretty soon. We're in March. Uh, it, I think mine's in March. I think. Uh, we'll hang out and yeah, do yeah, stuff. Yeah. If we're both in Florida uh, at the same time. Do you go on the road cool. together? No. Uh, she goes with just Tina Libby. And Beth, oh, her sister, but you got scared. I don't have time for all busy. that. She comes out sometimes. She got to unzip that dad's penis. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. got to do other things. Just got to save lives and stuff. Yeah, I know. But everyone thinks I'm gonna be a what? Do you have a job? A what? Oh yeah, <laughs> I thought you said a dog. Do you have a job? Yes. Why? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, what, I should just go on tour. Your job? Not like a real job, oh, okay, just social good. media. No, no, no. I guess if that counts. I knew that you had that job. <laughs> oh, then oh my what job god! Are you... I was like, oh my god! Well, when you said saving lives, in my head I went, is she oh, fucking is RN? She, is she an EMT? Is that oh, the oh, EMT is a hero amongst us. <laughs> I'm like, what kind of job? I was like, why do you have a job? I was like, you got to check on the road. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, just my dad's dick is what I was saying. The, yes. Oh, that the, is a very important job. Yeah. Now I but, came up with like a kind of like a racist like funny line but it was too late so she showed us this video of her dad her chinese father got his penis st- stuck in the zipper and because todd's asian with a good dick you know like so we got to kind of break this myth and the yeah, stereotype we do. but um i i you, i think a derogatory comment is right oh my god you gotta believe i never that. heard that is what they call vietnam people because they would run over their heads in vietnam with the with like a tank. Oh, the tire. Like Todd, oh. why do you got to bring us down like this? Oh. That's very bad. I just get really horny. I slide <laughs> on my seat. Like, <laughs> who knew that was my thing? I Damn, never, I, I never heard that either. We might have to bleep that out completely. Yeah. That might be a full cut. That but, might be a full cut. Yeah, but they, also, <laughs> people are learning. <laughs> they're learning we're yeah. growing and we're growing and we're growing because we we're didn't growing. know and we're better people than we were we, 30 listen, seconds ago sometimes todd makes it the clip though i'm like why are we making it the clip <laughs> Don't do that. Like, oh god take that out of the clip <laughs> I just make told the you clip. to cut oh, it and now it's the promo <laughs> i've done that before where like my friend bonnie mcfarland came on trash tuesday and we were just making fun of this guy on tiktok and it was so funny we were just we went in so hard and it was so mean as bullying obviously <laughs> But it was funny and it wasn't like oh. real, like obviously he's a yeah. nice guy, whatever. Yeah. I'm sure. But we just went in so hard. And then I clipped it because I got cocky because it was I just was like, we just were laughing so hard. Oh, no. And it looked so mean when you took it out. Like it was already mean, but like mm. to clip it out. Yeah. And then everyone was like tagging him. I was like, okay. As he was like writing Esther, like, this is so cringe what they're doing. <laughs> he was like speaking TikTok to Esther. No. Esther and oh my God. Esther's like our tic- resident TikToker. And so they're just like TikToking to each other. And she's like, I know, so mean. I'm like, Esther, I'm gonna bully you even harder if you oh do this. Oh my god! But it was like, it was like, ooh, I should have let that just kind of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ride in the episode, I ended up taking it down because then I'm like, ooh, this is like real feelings hurt. You don't want to actually hurt feelings. You want to just tease yeah. a little. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you just feel bad. Well, after. He was doing a video about self esteem, so I was making fun of that. <laughs> Stop. You know what I mean? But it's like <laughs> that's oh. great. That's out I of control. Bad. Who's Sir, your favorite? I can't oh, remember what your funny. name is, but Therapy, I'm sorry. Jeff. Therapy, Jeff. I'm sorry. <laughs> Therapy, I'm not, Jeff. I like to be funny, so I don't want to apologize for jokes because I it did give me great laughs. Shout out to Therapy, Jeff. Therapy, we lo- we Jeff. Love you. Maybe you can come we on. Do. We can make up. And I'm so sorry. I just use humor to kind of break through like awkwardness, and yeah. it was awkward that Esther didn't know what self esteem was yet, and she landed on a TikTok oh at 34 years old. Oh my god! It really was more at Esther for needing. She was like, "Did you know that this is what self esteem is?" I was like, "Esther." This. Oh, bless I her teach heart. You this. Your high school counselor should have taught you this. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, they weren't doing nothing. Bless her. What were you saying? I interrupted you. 
Oh shit! Do you remember? Uh, well, there's no chance. I've never. Okay, so I have the eyes where my my eyes kind of change color with the whatever color I'm wearing. Your eyes are near orange right now. She's got the damn. Yeah, on her. they do do that. That's amazing. Weird, huh? Well, they turn kind of green if you're wearing green. Yeah, yeah, that's neat. my mom has green eyes, and then my dad has brown. But do they look they- orange? They do, and I never noticed that before, but yeah. It's yeah, like fiery they, eyes. That's they really do cool. that. Are scared Weird, huh? And I you're just wearing never orange. noticed that before. You're wearing orange, so I wore it's this bouncing. For you guys. This was like my most. That's trip. awesome. Isn't it cool? It's great. I got it at the Grove. We the look whole, like a whole ass jail cell right now. Get I know. We yeah, look, look at, at us all. Yeah. <laughs> You're the shirtless <laughs> guy. <laughs> oh I'm like the yo. Yes. Have oh you guys ever gotten arrested? Oh, yeah. No, <laughs> Just but once. that's a goal. Yeah, no, honestly. Because when we do what we do, it's like... Oh, I want that mugshot? Yes. Mm-hmm. What I a got, great Instagram yeah. post. So good. So well, good. I got uh, in trouble for shoplifting when I was 14, and Oof. they took a... Bloomingdale's took a, a Polaroid of me, and my dad and I actually went back to that mall like a year or two ago, and we were like, where where are the Polaroids? Because I was like, if I can get my hands on like a fearful, just busted 14-year-old oh. Annie with sunglasses, probably with the tag still on. I don't know if they let me wear them. What if they still let me wear them? Can you imagine? That's classic. Can you get you guys arrested? Do we plan a... Uh... Uh, a heist. Well, it's not going to do anything to your career. I've been, make it better, right? Yeah, <laughs> I've been looking for a way True. to get arrested, but not have it be so serious. I don't want, I don't yeah. want a year worth of fines. I just want to be arrested and out, and then I'm done. I have a really good one. Okay, I have a really good one for you. That okay, Randy Lochte, this comedian who I actually haven't seen in forever. Him and Brendan Walsh used to do like warm up for that show at midnight. That's coming back, but it was a. Did you ever do it? Mm-mm. This might have been before you you blew up, Ooh. but um, Chris Hardwick had the show on Comedy Central. But they would do the warm up for it in neck braces. They're just like funny weirdos. Like they just live scat. They're like yeah, you know, they're kindred. And they so Randy just for fun, he cooked cookies that looked like cell phones. Like he baked cookies that looked like cell phones, Ooh, and then. And then he was t- had them and was driving around. So he got pulled over by a cop and was like, what, it's just a cookie? You know, it's not a cell phone. And then he eventually did end up getting arrested from it, though. Like, he was like... From the cookies. He, anno- he somehow annoyed the cop into arresting him. He did it. I like they're doing anything else, really. The thing is, you can't... The cops, you can hurt their feelings. And that, oh, yeah. Get, yeah, so a, like if a cookie got that, you, if a cookie got, got you to mind. pull over, <laughs> yeah. you'd feel dumb as hell. And, and it's a pride thing, them pulling you yeah. over and being uh, like, hey, Gotti. Gotti, it's like they you want a bite? I almost got uh. arrested for jaywalking in Montreal. I went to the Montreal Comedy Festival, and I just could not believe it. I was like, you can't be serious. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, I got my. in trouble for that one, Isn't too. Isn't it so funny? But it was like, it was such an innocent thing, because I was like, going with me. Like, it stopped right before I went. It mm-hmm. was like, my foot was, I'm like, oh. technically, I was already in the street when it changed. Like, it wasn't me trying to jaywalk, but once no. they found out I was American, they were like loving it. But there was a fan that had been taking pictures. I go, pictures. so he got all these pictures of me like fighting, like because I was like I went full like Philadelphia yeah, juvenile yeah. delinquent. Like <laughs> you're not gonna, you know, because I don't even think they have guns there. Don't, don't they just have batons? Right, like, right. Hit me, it'll be awesome. Right. <laughs> Give me a little nugget. I'll That's awesome. great. That's dude. how you got arrested. They didn't end up arresting me. Did they have you close. in cuffs though? They were close. I oh. I will find the pictures and we'll post them. Yeah. This was, yeah. That's I know, great. See, I had no tits. This was back when I had no tits. I got arrested for mooning people. It's so cute. <laughs> Dumb. They rolled up on their bikes, put the cuffs on me. Sucked. Was your ass still out? No, it was up. But everyone was waiting to get in line at a bar. And I was just. Oh. Yeah. And That's great. everyone was like laughing. And then I pulled them up and thought I was all good. And then here comes the two cops on their bike. They're like, give us your ID. And I was only 18 at the time. So I just was like, oh, fuck. I have to. Or, oh, frick. I got to be real confident. So I just gave them my ID like I was 21. And they're like, next time, don't drink as much. And then they cuffed me and took me to the drunk tank with like 15 men all puking in the back I of the van. I thought they were letting you go. They were like, all right. Oh, kid. no. I know it's like they're, it's Dumb. like they're on their period or something. Sometimes you're like, why this? Dude. Why mm-hmm. is this the time? Because you sometimes yeah. they'll let you off, and then sometimes you're like, this is the yeah. this is the line here. Mm-hmm. I'd be the worst cop ever because if I saw that dude, I'd be fucking getting out my Snapchat. Yeah, like, you know? yeah I'd be fired immediately. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. They I'd do be... change so much because Chelsea was 
we were shooting a video on in Pacific Beach and she had the cigarette yeah. as Tammy and they come up on their four wheelers and they're like, hey, no smoking on the boardwalk. And Chelsea turns around and says, it ain't lit, sugar. <laughs> and they're like, oh, my gosh, can we get a picture with you? And then yeah. they're all they just well, one the If They didn't realize it was you and you said it like that. They would have been like, you would have been dead. You would have been dead. <laughs> They're like, you're not talking to us. Don't you call me sugar. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, some. I don't want to say all because even though my <laughs> friend. What? What happened? Oh, no. My friend from college. Oh, I shouldn't even bring this up. Ooh, I haven't talked to him in a while, but. Ooh, I'm sure he'd be mad I brought this up. But maybe. He's... But also, you did it. My There was like seven years ago, maybe. Maybe even longer ago. There was this big article about this cop that got caught, like, banging girls on his cop car. By his own camera, caught him. Okay, he, and then I was like, "That's a crazy story," and I like clicked. Oh, no. oh, <laughs> and it's your friend. No. Oh damn! No. I was like, "That's my cop." Oh my god! <laughs> I think there might have been. I think it was to get out a ticket, so it was like really bad. But also oh, like, oh my wife and kid god! And... Not just like he's bringing chicks over to his car to bag. Yeah. He's pulling them over. I think and, it oh. might be. I don't, I didn't read once I saw it was him. I was like, yeah, I want to know less. Yeah. So, so he's like running. Tw- like, I don't want him to make a choice. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. yeah. Randy was, was he's dog. helping our dog. <laughs> Randy's horny. Yeah. Oh my God. What's that? Which doll's name? What's yeah. that doll's name? Dang. Yeah, that is most. <gasps> there you go. He's don't oh, 69. Oh, oh. Ma- mountain. He's a boy. It. Cause does your picture come up when the when they put in your plates? Does like a picture of you I come up? Oh, your license probably. I they're they're, they're so like, cool. now nah, let this car go. <laughs> oh no! I have fake cigarettes. I like to. Have Randy's around. humping. Randy's humping. Oh, the fake cigarettes. <laughs> they're so cool. Mm-hmm. I just can't believe how real they look. Yeah, they look very. Real. I have some of those. We have. Where's sure. the Santa thing? Show them the Santa thing. Right there. Did you like smoking so, fake you know cigarettes? Where you pull it up and a cigarette comes out. Uh-uh. No. Back in the day, I used to smoke. Yeah. I got hypnotized not to smoke. And it worked? You pull it and then that a, a is awesome. comes out and then you have to take Santa's penis. <laughs> I got to get cool. Isn't that funny? Dude. There's a creepy uncle one too that we gave to our producer who's oh my molested God. by his <laughs> uncle. He doesn't think he, he was like, People think I was molested. I'm like, you're, I have like, I have like a spidey sense. I can smell molested. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm like, you were molested. And he's like, no, I don't know. I'm, I'm not trying to turn into like the teal swan of the world, but. I'm like you were molested, dude. Oh yeah, if you, you talk fast, you talk fast in a molested way. <laughs> in a molested so got him, way, like, it's just like ugh. there's always like they're always popping up, up behind a couch saying something funny. <laughs> hey, Randy. you're just raising awareness. <laughs> yeah, Randy's about Man, to raise right. his awareness. Randy's his tiny, about to tiny nut awareness, everywhere, and then he licks it up. Oh, Randy. Like a, like a true yeah. man. Randy, what do you want me to? He wants you to hold it. Randy looks like an old guy. He I know, does. He? Yeah, oh, he, like he wants me to hold it. Look. There yeah. you go. Very close to me. Oh, like come here, Randy. Come here. Oh. Look at Randy going on, go to Randy. town. Go, Randy. Y'all go have Randy. a lopsized doll go. for him to go. hump. You bring all these on tour? No, but that's a great idea. Look at. Go, oh. Randy. Go, Randy. Why is it's that the funniest thing? thing ever? Not a holiday. Randy. Randy, you have to do this by yourself. Mommy's busy. Mommy's at work. Randy. Mommy can't help you. Mommy doesn't look like she's working because her job is. Sitting here. <laughs> Isn't oh. it so fun? We found these jobs, yeah. dude. I think about uh, it all the time. So oh, I'm like, we 100%. get to just. Do, I mean, this is what we do yep. for a job. Yep. And like, we're just lucky because there's a lot of bad, like, down things about the internet and stuff, but downsides to it. But it's like, there's so much opportunity to just not have to just work for another person and make what they oh, yeah. decide to give you. Like, you don't want someone get telling you your worth. You want to create your own worth. And, yeah. I love it. I you love can do that. So much stuff. It's such I love a that. yeah. It is such a good feeling. And either way, if you go to a regular job, well, a nine to five, yeah. or do this, either way, you're getting somebody doesn't like you at work. Yeah. Somebody does. Either way, so yeah, you're getting I all mean, the same stuff. Yeah, just in a different way. We don't have a yeah. real HR. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God! If, if <laughs> no. we did, oh Lord Jesus, we'd all be fired. Rubbing HR. He likes to have threesomes. He likes to have multiple. So he wants like someone else involved. He likes people yeah. watching. We're cucks. Yeah, he does. We're Basically. Randy cucks. We're cucks for Randy. <laughs> but yeah, he looks like an old guy. We took him when he was one. We took him to the vet, and our regular vet was out of town. So it was like one of his guys that hadn't met Randy before. And I was like, you know, he's having like problems. Like his poop is kind of loose. Like, should we get change his food? And he's like, you know, in elderly dogs, it's really 
Oh, that's not a good idea. This dog is not but nine months old. <laughs> An elderly <laughs> nine dog. Months. so funny. He was so little. Dude, he looks like an old man. Yeah, isn't it so funny? A horny That's old guy. Funny. But he elderly. has like young like tendencies. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Like his energy. So it's very confusing for everyone. Big time. I love Big him. Big time. Me I know. Too. Is this your only angel? dog? This is our only dog. Or pet. Only too. dog. That's what we should call this. Only dogs. Where we just watch him humping. <laughs> Only dogs. This should be a bottle. <laughs> oh, oh! I felt something wet. <laughs> the bottle. What was that? I'm wiping it on your. I really did feel Wipe something it on wet. That. Randy. Randy. Come on, Randy. That's a cute <laughs> ottoman. He's squirting. Randy, squirt on mommy, not the guests. Dogs actually not though. Yeah. Even if they're. Balls are off. He licks. I don't know what happens. He's licking something up. I he don't sucks. know about that. It's mm. actually so much grosser than a lick. He he suckles the. Yeah, it's so gross. He's really a nasty boy. Oh, why? Randy. Why? I think someone said we got him neutered too late. Ooh. Oh. We waited till he was like one and a half. I think. Mm. I don't know. Oh, we say one and a half now. How old is our dog? Didn't even drop yet. You said he had <laughs> one ball that was stuck in, just like Daddy. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Can you imagine? I did it with a one ball guy once. He was a survivor. <laughs> one ball guy. I was like, ooh, one less ball, sweet. <laughs> Todd, we just thought it has very long ball. balls, just by the way he was shaking them at me. The long day. sack. It's very oh, like, well, the it's a long sack, and then obviously the balls they hang roll to the, the bottom. bottom. Yeah. yeah, but his penis is long too. But it's like the balls are quite stretchy. Hmm. Just imagine walking around with that. That'd yeah, be wild. it's so weird. Well, Mr. Belvedere, do you guys remember? Mr. Belvedere was a show when I was really little. Mm-hmm. It might have been, yeah, because I was really little when I it thought came it out, was but... vodka. I'm, oh, thinking of, I'm thinking of the it yeah. is a vodka. I think right, Belvedere. Yes, but Mr. Belvedere was like a sitcom where he was like the kind of like nanny, this British butler nanny guy. And there's like a famous story. Will you look it up, Todd? And his balls. Where he sat on his ball sack. He sat on his own sack during shooting, filming, and they had to like postpone shooting, oh. suspend the shooting. They went I think, numb. I think. I think he snagged his. Could, sack. He could have walked that off. I. We don't know. We're never gonna know. Damn. We're never gonna know. He's really old. I can't imagine how saggy those balls are now. <laughs> wow. Belvedere's balls are getting stepped on now. Damn. So did they go numb or what happened? I think it's just what tell us about what happens when your balls are kinked. Because what I else had, are they doing? One time I had, do you I have sh- do you need I the microphone? The ball. Well, one time I pulled a ball and it was so painful. It just felt like when you get kicked in the balls, there's like an aftermath feeling in like your stomach. Mm-hmm. Where your stomach like cramps up and it hurts, uh-huh. and it was just that uh-huh. feeling I had, and I had to go to the, uh, I had to go to the hospital, and they did an ultrasound on my ball. They s- squirted the goo, and ultrasounded it. Was it twins? Oh. Um, I, <laughs> I stole that joke from my sister in law. My brother snagged his sack. My twin brother. And uh, his wife at the time was, they were just dating and they went to, he says, this is like one of the moments where, you know, they oh, went God. to the hospital, he got the ultrasound and she goes, it's twins. And he's like, that's when I knew I loved her. So I stole her joke. Oh. Dana, I stole her from you. Sorry, bitch. I didn't know you were a twin. Yeah, but it's my brother. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We really just did kind of meet. I know, but doesn't it feel like we we've didn't? ate each other yeah. out and stuff? Yes. Yeah. Yes. We've already, yeah. <laughs> I haven't even did, like deep dived into your guys stuff enough. Like I definitely have seen like, the hits, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I really want to. I want to be an avid. Yes. I want to be in. A and, we, and we want to do content. Yeah, so and we should do stuff together. Pranks, yes. Which we need to do next time. Pranks is everything. We had Ed Bassmaster on. We love him so oh, much. Oh, dude, he's, he's so not sweet. Such an angel, dude. He's yes. sweet. And his, he's one of the first people that I ever like loved their mm-hmm. their comedy. Mm-hmm. On. So special. Oh God, he's so good. He's, he's like so the king good. of YouTube. Yes. Yeah. He's just so mm-hmm. awesome. And he like, so obviously we're from the East Coast. We're from Philly and Jersey too. Mm-hmm. So we have a little extra thing for him. Oh yeah. And we just like, he's so, he's like, he's like this. Of course, like you just get in mm-hmm. with each other so fast. Mm-hmm. You just vibe. Oh. Um, We did some prank calls. That was fun. Oh gosh. Yeah, yeah. Did, did, he do did he do him as tequila or, or what did you do? We did, he did as just like a guy on the street okay. where he found, God. He called his dad. It was so mean. Was so he goes, funny. I found Todd's. I found someone's phone. And he goes, yeah, this is my son's phone. And he goes, yeah, I found it in an alleyway. He goes, hold on. I'll, I'll figure out how to get the phone. <laughs> no. So then he calls my phone. So then we give him my phone. He picks up. He goes, I found this phone too. <gasps> Are you 
Are and you then, kidding? Yeah. And then he goes, oh, no. And then I go, tell him about my purse. So he goes, I found a Louis Vuitton purse. And then he, we've been, he just got this like uh, emerald ring from my mom that he's going to add diamonds to and stuff. So he goes, so I go, tell him, um, he goes, and I found a, there's an emerald diamond ring in there. And oh they're my like, god. Oh Ooh. my god. So then there was like 30 seconds where they thought we were fully dead and like skinned. The in an trauma. Alley. The trauma. <laughs> my mom Damn. like is now more bonded with his mom because she's like, I need her number to like commiserate with what you guys did yeah. to me. Like, I need her to know I, she has my support. Just oh my in case. God. It, that's a good one though. Yeah. It's really funny though. It's it is was that like, episode oh, out? Yeah. It's out. I yeah, gotta, well, I gotta but watch But that it. one we maybe cursed or something. Something got suppressed with that oh one. Oh gosh. Yeah, yeah. It Beep. got like our lowest views at Bassmaster. Uh, do no, you put beeps in or do you we do just fart mute it? Fart every that's time. Funny. Like yeah. that? So that's I was like, funny. the farts are getting incensed. I'm like, I don't know what else to say. I don't know. Oh, yeah. they're, they're monitoring farts too. That's for yeah, sure. They, they don't they even are. like the word. Is that yep. true? Yes. Just start calling them like F arts or something. Yes. <laughs> yes. We're all going to be talking Poop. in such a weird way. Poop fart. Are you serious? Yes. Yep. People are like, Paige, why do you say bunghole and stuff? I'm like, because, <sighs> taking down because I have to talk time. different because they're of They're taking down fart what? videos. The fart noises in general. Yeah. <laughs> Todd, we're screwed. <laughs> Our entire last episode's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's hilarious. You wouldn't think a fart little noise, but who knows if, if oh, they're... Oh, it's not a little noise. It's, it's through the whole thing. <laughs> oh, maybe at a queef. A, a, yeah. uh, you know what it is? It's like a fart that gets interrupted by me and Doug Stanhope talking a little bit. <laughs> That's what the last episode was. That's oh funny. Oh, my God, Todd. Just replace it with a queef. Yeah. Hopefully, it'll, hopefully yeah. it'll be all right. But not a loud queef, just a... <laughs> That's a whoa. That's a big pussy. Well... That's a loose pussy. Oh, where it doesn't even clap. <laughs> Gui- guidelines. Do you Dead. guys go to church? I Todd wears like satanic. <laughs> Whoa. Todd has like satanic. <laughs> the fact that he's just over there laughing, laughing his ass off. I love it. He has a shirt, his his best shirt on the show that he's worn. It says, keep praying, no one's listening. Oh, it's like damn, so disrespectful. Yeah. It's like a mean shirt. Damn, Todd, it's you're going so to hell. Mean. It's so mean. Todd will be in hell. Be all toasty and tan. Oh, he'll God. cute and hell pushing that. He will push that rock up too. He's a good boy. Oh, that's great. The stone up. Oh, the God. mythology. Don't try to make me pull out a name or something. It's a La- miracle yeah. I remembered it. It's a miracle I remembered it. Oh, man. Lather up. LD. Lather up. With Lather ba- it up. Bahama yeah. Mama or Bahama. What's Lather up? Lather up. Spray. Lather it up. Banana boat. Banana boat. You're going to need a lot of banana boat. <laughs> banana boat. That smells um, so good. Yeah, no, I, uh, I was brought up Quaker, but I don't. Sometimes I go to Quaker meeting. Quaker oats? Yep. Quaker, okay, so this is what it is. It is kind of, it is so, okay. It kind of explains like who I am. So Quaker meeting is like a form of Christianity. It's very chill. It's like you can be a Jew. Like you literally, there were like Jewish people in yarmulkes at our Christian. Like they don't really care what you're up to. Everyone's gay. Everyone's a lesbian. It's like crazy. So she, I feel you by the way. I'm as tired as you. I'm sorry. And I know you're trying not to be rude, but I'm literally exactly, I feel you. And I'm not bored. I don't think you're bored. I yawn. She's a yawn. From the time I wake up to the time I go to bed. Oh, that's cute. I just, I'm always tired. Even though I slept 10 hours, I just, I'm always, I always mouth, to... mouth breather. Yes. And I started taping my mouth shut. I've been taping. Like a week ago, I started taping my mouth shut. Isn't it funny? Like Todd's always like trying to pretend he's not excited. I'm taping my mouth. <laughs> oh, great. Finally. Yes, oh, no, yes. You have to tape your mouth again, do you? But I always go my hair. I think I like pull it off. Mm-hmm. But I've been noticing that because it is like, why am I so tired? It's because like, we're not asleep. We're like I, up all night. <laughs> I know. Talking. Yep. Yep. Exactly. So I'm not bored. Go ahead. No, go ahead go I ahead. don't think you're bored. I just <laughs> wanted you to know I'm kind. I okay. feel you. I understand you. But what was I talking about? Quaker oats. So, you, the church is you go like you sit in in a place Sorry. with all these facing benches where you're like looking at each other, but, or you can look down, and there's usually a fireplace going, and you just sit in silence for an hour, mm. and then if you feel moved to speak, that's what they call Quakers because people would be like God speaking through me, and they would like start shaking, which is so crazy, but nobody <laughs> like shakes, but they could if they yeah maybe God, you should go God speaks. Annie a lot. Can I just say that God <laughs> is a jabber, jibber jabber. And he talks a lot. But I saw so since a kid, I've just been standing up to talk. Like I would every single oh, meeting, boy. I would be like, 
Oh, this is my time to shine. This is my moment. This is my audience. Practicing stand up. I'd, like, right. I'd be like, the kids in Somalia, can you believe it? They're starving. We need to send them our food. And the teachers would be like, yay. I just like loved the attention. It was so awesome. But I started going again a little bit before the pandemic and I would dress as crazy as I could. Oh my gosh. Just be I love a scene, you. you know, and they're just trying to be normal and not like stare at the weird girl. What? Brandy. The not talking part. Oh gosh, I would start laughing and not oh, even yeah. in a rude way, yes. just like, yeah, it was torture as a kid. Torture. Oh my God. I've never heard of Me that. either. It's torture, but ever. I do want to prank. Like I want to prank quicker. I love yeah. quicker, but I want to prank them and they'll accept me. They're forgiving. Do they have yeah. a phone number? We, oh, we, no. we, we need to show up. We need to go in and yeah, like hide our cameras and, and you I know. I know, just like, oh my God, we just start farting and, and queefing. And then maybe after we give a good size donation. I can't believe mm. fart noises. That <laughs> makes good so size much donation. sense. Sure bucks. You know? Yeah. Oh yeah, farts. They will, you can't, even on OF, you can't say fart, poop, nothing. I mean, nothing. You can't do anything. You can't say P-O-P-P-E. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, that's I'm not quite everything. doing it on there, like pooping but and stuff. Like but new, yeah, like you're coming into your fart phase. I farted once on my brother-in-law's head when he was sleeping, and that was and it. it took off from there. I I know what you mean, and this is what I liked about Ed. And I, I'm a, I'm I'm guessing you guys might have been like this, but were you like the life of the family? Like, were you like doing the job? Oh, like, it was oh, yeah. all about making parents laugh, making people laugh. Yeah. Friends. Right. Yeah. Siblings for 100%. sure. So then you're mm -hmm. like, okay, I'm like born to entertain. Like all I want to do is make people laugh all the time. Mm -hmm. It's a good and feeling. Then, yeah, no, but my dad was like that too. So his mom was kind of, she was, she was like a good mom, but she was a single mom. She was, you know, stressed out and stuff. So she would fuck them up. But, um, but my dad and his sister will just have like the best stories of my dad. Just like, ripping jokes just being so funny God. just to like cut the tension you know yeah so i'm like oh. second generation of that you said your dad's like 80 too my dad's 81 whoa mm -hmm. when did what uh when did he turn july 29th oh thank you but <laughs> <laughs> i'll remember That's that 80, yeah. oh <laughs> what age did he have you because i'm he not good 41. at math okay. okay oh wow yeah yeah okay but i thought he was like the oldest person like yeah. i was like 41 oh my god Same. my dad was like I, when i'm five he's 40 i'm like what the hell is this this is the oldest man i was alive <laughs> or he breathing? i thought he was dead all the time me too i just couldn't believe it and how old's your dad 77 77 but i think yeah i think he was like 42 and my yeah, mom was like I, 25 but i'm growing up i'm like damn you know after i graduate i might need to have kids so that they can exactly, be in my dad's yes. life but yep. my dad's still kicking but my so. dad's so young and oh, at heart. The, you either like you blossom out or you go in, mm -hmm. you know, I dated some older guys who acted old and they were like in their late forties. They're like, what are you doing? Yeah. That's don't not, that's old. young, don't, dude. Yeah. I know. Don't. Well, mm -hmm. now we get older. You got to go like, it does change. Yeah. I'm like 85. How young? So yeah. young. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So <laughs> Fear, no, who just died? So Fear Little Bren? Someone died. Yeah. I saw that. Was it, I think that was her. No, it was Raquel Welsh. That's it. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I think so. Fear Little might have. Kicked yeah. it too. All the hotties are going. She's yeah. watching this. Yeah. All the hotties are going. <laughs> I we predict on Trash Shoes. We've accidentally predicted a few deaths. We've we put it into the world. How really? did they Who? go? Or it was we killed Ray Liotta. <laughs> I, oh. I apologize for that one, but we did it. That it one was hurt. crazy. That one hurt. I love Ray Liotta. How you know, old like cocaine bears your last going out like that? Oh, dude. It almost feels like he died of a fentanyl overdose. You yeah, know? love him. So Could good. have been that. You have no clue who Ray Liotta that. is, do you? No, but fentanyl. Yeah, you know Ooh, what that I is. Love that. I I've love never done it, but not knowing it's killing people left and right. I know. It's like, come on, guys, test it. It is annoying, though, I think, because you have to, like, put strips in. Oh, I mean, gosh. I just think, hey, dealers, yeah. you have to do, like, the biggest, fattest line in front of all of your... Like, you have to, like... Yes. You have to put yourselves on the line. Yeah, you are literally putting your life on the line. You are oh, now... Yeah. You have to be the hero, drug dealers. Every snort. Every snort. One snort for you first, one snort for them. Don't yeah, be greedy. It's kind of like, who does it first? Yeah. If there could be fentanyl in it. It's almost like a little roulette game, too. It, oh, for sure. gosh. Y'all be roulette. safe out there. Damn. Guy, yeah, be, be careful. careful. Don't die that way. It's so God. sad. Yeah, I don't, don't do it. It's, it's like, it's such a lame high. It's like, why would you die from that? <laughs> yeah, don't do it. I've never done it. It's I've never nothing. done anything. Like, I would say it's a nothing. Okay. Do you drink? Oh, fun. I've never been drunk. We don't really do much of that. that. That's good. Because I we get sick. 
but that's yeah. about it. That can be a drug in itself. Yeah, it can, sure like, oh, can are be. Are we still here? <laughs> yeah. This doesn't feel. This stopped feeling good about twenty minutes ago or yeah, twenty yeah, hours yeah. ago. No. I know. I go way past the the point of feeling good. But we always go on the road, and then I lose my vibrator. I don't even know where it is. Oh, yeah. I have no clue where it is anymore. Well, then you have Todd. Yeah, yeah, Todd's, Todd's here. Human vibrator. <laughs> yeah, he, Todd made me squirt, but he like feels like it was. He blames my toy, but I, it was my Todd. Oh, no, you had a it, wandy on and it Todd. Was both, yeah. But I okay. don't think one. I don't think one could have done. Well, I think Todd could do it. Try I it. Get, yeah. I want to get Todd like talk ring. What? what? Just say it. Books. Oh, Not yeah, that's that you're bad, but I just want to like. Let's, no, that's let's fine. Go down. What I do you do mean? Tantra. I just want to do like sex things with him. Yep. Y'all still bone a lot. We do. We bone. How many well, times a week? Cock a lot. Mm. <laughs> Randy. Yeah. Well, just bring that dog over. But I want to be like I want. I want to get on like because I get anxiety about getting pregnant because at this age, yeah. If I don't keep it, it's murder. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I want to. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it. Oh my God. So old. Yeah. Just, just don't I'm even so old, say it. But I get so scared, and so I get panicky. But I want to get through that. I did find. I didn't tell Todd this. I found like a tantric. It's a guy though. Oh my god, I'm not doing no guy. Wait, okay. what? I want to do like tantra and stuff because I want to get into the real like hippie manifestation of coming <laughs> together and stuff. Your boob. You want you double could, like, pen? Well, if you what? Randy. No, double pen. Or I don't want about? double pen. I want very exclusive to my bow. Oh, but I want like, I want to do like Randy. Randy, like, I want tantra. <laughs> It's he, like he's a cockblock, but he insists that we help him he, come. I it's know. Like he Ran- gets in the way of our coming every time. Randy, it's, so it's not about your nut. And he's it's been- like you can leave him out of the room, and then he's barking. It's like oh, Randy. Yeah, he's putting his paw on his little do- on his I little know, it's doll. So cute. Oh, Pat in the oh ass. It's like, come on, <gasps> Randy, come here. <laughs> Randy, so is t- it too close t- to me? T- tantric, tantric sex. Tantric sex tantric. is like long I think it's periods. Like, it's long periods too, but I think it's more about like connecting to your like root chakra type thing wow oh, oh yeah. i don't really know that much about it i do okay. know that my parents did it a little bit and that was creepy so I, you have to do like all seven chakras or maybe, what i don't to... know but i just found this guy tori interviewed him on our podcast or is it nine tori from the challenge tori lanes tori deal spelling tori deal <laughs> tori spelling. let's just all start naming tories <laughs> <Tori's>. <laughs> <laughs> if I was on a for- first name basis with Tori Spelling, oh. I would open with that. I promise. <laughs> oh I would be like, oh. Yes, Tori and I. <laughs> Tori. Yes. No, we're obsessed Spelling. with the show, The Challenge. We love reality TV so okay. much, mm-hmm. and it was just the they had the finale last night, and then so I've oh. been I've been really on everyone's Instagrams, mm-hmm. and I'm not going to spoil who won. Do y'all watch Big Brother? We do. Yeah, Obsessed. We Big yes. Brother. Dude, I don't know anyone else that watches Big I Brother. Know. We can <laughs> listen, we She's can be obsessed. in a lot of con- and like a lot of communication during this season. Done. <laughs> we do pay for the do you watch the I the tried. I, I I I try. I I can't sit there and watch it. I mean, it's really boring. Sometimes we watch it. But- you have to just throw it on. But there have been times where like the season with um uh Tyler, where remember when they straightened Tyler's hair? Yes. I saw that ahead of time. Wow. And it's fun to see how they edit it. Well, I will. I'm, I follow all of the Twitters that post mm-hmm. all of the good yeah. parts. So I'm right. watching it. I, I just don't sit there and watch right. it. Right. Oh, that show. I mean, since I was freaking so 13 good. years old, I look forward to it. I count down the months. Yeah. yeah. It is it. Well, what brought us together was Survivor. <gasps> mm. That's Survivors. a good one. I haven't watched that in a while. It's still good. Oh, it's unbelievable. It. You can always revisit. Never, never give up on Survivor. Okay. It's always, always good. But mm. Todd, that's how Todd. Well, two ways Todd got into my house. There was one. I was dating a guy who was like, like playing me. You know, when you like know a guy's playing you. Yeah, oh, for sure. You're just like, oh, are you playing me? And I was like, Todd, which is my friend. And I would complain about boys to him. And I was like, is this guy playing me? And he's like, he's Dennis methoding you. From Always Sunny in Philadelphia. He goes, he's Dennis Method. And I go, I didn't see that episode. He goes, so he came over and showed me this episode <laughs> about one of the characters from Always Sunny in Philadelphia, who, how he emotionally manipulates women. And it was exactly what the guy was doing. Damn. And so when I would get mad at the guy in my head, like sometimes I'll think back and I'll be like, that was so annoying that he like, why did he emotionally manipulate? And I'm like, oh. If he hadn't emotionally manipulated me, would Todd have ended up in my apartment? Uh, and yeah, and never, that's so never sweet. Never to leave again. <laughs> It all works out. No, it's all part that's of why the... I do feel that way. I think every bad thing is actually mm-hmm. a good thing. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Oh, big you time. have to definitely just 
think the positives in mm-hmm. every situation. And wait it out because there's usually going to be like a exactly. Thing that People comes have back. always told me to watch Always Sunny in Philadelphia, you but I never. It. So funny. But it's hard. Like if you're not someone that watch, do you watch TV at all? Oh gosh, so yeah, sometimes, but more sports. Sports. Yeah, sports. Ooh, I love it. But what kind of sports? I fall asleep if I watch any movie. Yeah, me too. Um, I watch NBA, NFL, any any sport. Really. How'd you feel huh? about the Super Bowl? Mm, I didn't really care about any of those teams. So oh, whoever yeah. won, cool. But I'm from Philly, so Eagles mattered. But it was weird the way it went. Oh, oh it's yeah, okay. it's okay. I feel like everything's a little rigged, low key. Oh, you know, I, got, I mean, come on, it's entertainment. I got, um, I know everything's pro wrestling. Oh yeah, even on these, it's like, Do, when, yeah, it really is. Do you ever go into like the Reddit? It's like rumor. Do you get like, rumors about you on Reddit? <laughs> oh, just no. when I'm on there nude and stuff, I would go check it out and see <laughs> like, what people what do you guys still think about this. Yeah, well, yeah, people <laughs> steal it, our oh, stuff, and then yeah, OnlyFans. that's when I see it. Oh, that's so annoying. Yeah. I know. It's like, come on. Why are you stealing? We're giving you oh, everything. Big time. Mm-hmm. That's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really that's annoying. A, that's if annoying. We spread the lab. Don't spread the pick of the lab. <laughs> right. Oh. The lab. The I lab, love that. baby. The lab. I don't have any, like, the only thing I have is I, my old podcast, I accidentally flashed. Well, I didn't accidentally. I purposely flashed my old producer. And then he was supposed to put a bar pixelate and he messed up and he uploaded the wrong one. So it's those boobs, there. those boobs went around. It's on there, but um, forever. But it was a good angle. That's well, good. It, That's good. That is very if good. If it was a bad angle, you'd be scraped. I'd be in prison. Yes, <laughs> I'd be. That's in a big jail, yeah, bent yeah. over. Thank God it was a good pick. Thank the yeah. Lord. Yeah, but I haven't done any of that stuff. I try to be like I. I don't. I try to be like less of that. Yeah, but yeah, maybe that's just the molested in me. Man, could, could well, less been. is more. They yeah. say well, less is the more. Feet, Apparently, Bless, yeah. Hey, yeah. they Feed, did ask me to drooling. go on. What was it, Big Brother? Oh yeah, the, she, brother? she got asked me on Big oh, Brother, and she said no because she didn't want to not have her phone for <laughs> three months. And well, I freaked. I was. You've been great on Big Brother. This happened also. before I I <laughs> Thank knew her. You. But also, if you go on Big Brother, you got to know how the game is played. Yeah, you can't, I, she would not be on taken, there. Like she would have been taken. You can't throw someone in there that does not know the. Social manipulation. You gotta lie and <laughs> yes. say you don't know it. Yes. Maybe that would be good though. She wouldn't have the right bet. She'd be on slop. They'd be like, "You want slop?" Or she'd be like, "I love slop." <laughs> yeah. Then she'd be on slop. I'd do some reverse psychology yes. on him, maybe. But wouldn't that have been awesome? But I feel like if you studied, you would crush. Todd would win. Todd would oh, win yeah. anything he does. You guys should go. <laughs> oh, I'd be out to. immediately. I'm so annoying. I think I sent in a video, Big Brother. But you it wasn't did? You sent in a video? Are you serious? Like, <laughs> oh like, yeah. yeah. That is funny. I thought for a second that you like hadn't told me this yet. I forgot I was there. This is why it was it was inconsequential. I don't even remember it. (laughs) I know I got to do a better one. Get on there. I feel like okay, and then the challenge. But you have to work out. I can't deal with this anymore. They're not gonna (laughs) let your noodle arms on the challenge. I I haven't watched the challenge yet. The challenge. Good. You like it? The well, best? it's got Big Brother people. Yeah. It's got Survivor people. It's got Love Island people, which I don't really watch Love Island, but Love Island doesn't give me. Yeah. Uh, there's no finish that's fun. Okay. I have some good friends from Love Island, and well, no, they have good characters for sure. Yeah, but I don't really. I didn't watch the show, but well, I know the, the show, girls yeah, after it's like the show of it. Like, it doesn't make sense. But it's like naked and afraid. Like to me, it's like even though it's kind of cool to see them do stuff, it's like they're not winning anything. Like there's certain there has there's a certain formula that hooks me, mm-hmm. and Love Island doesn't have it, but I love every character from it um, that ends up on uh, the challenge. The challenge mm-hmm. yeah. Who's I mean, your I favorite love them. challenge? There's a new girl. Uh, favorite like challenge that they put competitor. The, yeah. Oh, competitor is okay. I've got two. One is our friend Wes, who is like master manipulator. Okay, he's. Got this ginger beard. He's been the doing bald, it. bald, kind of. Yeah, he's a little bit bald. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is fun. Well, Wes is like, this is what I love about Wes. He's so manipulative. He's so smart. He could win, but everybody knows he's manipulative and smart, so nobody Aww. ever listens to him. He needs like one person to listen to him, and he had this one girl once, and then she said something racist and got banned from <laughs> MTV for, every, for one time. He had one like minion. Yeah. But um, so he always gets screwed, but he's the best. We hang out with him when we go to Kansas City. We love him. Congrats on your win, Wes. Great job. <laughs> That's so funny. But you then, know him. But then Jordan. Do you know who Jordan is? Jordan Weasley. Is how do you say it? Weasley? Oh, Weasley? Weasley yeah. I've never said his last name. How many episodes? One he has one hand. Oh, He's yeah. a king. Okay. This this man has one hand. 
He well, I guess he has two hands. He just doesn't have fingers on one of them. Yeah. But he's winning oh, like gripping contests. Like he's winning things that are like damn. He's incredible. He he bangs everyone. It's like Jordan, you're the king. He's. I was just saying how he gives you everything you want. He'll be petty. Then he'll apologize. He'll oh my bang God. every girl. He they're never that mad at him. He always gets in a little bit of a fight, but it's never like too bad. He never has like enemy enemies. He has a way with his words, maybe. He's great. Yeah. He's so strong. He's so competitive. He's such a winner. He's a winner. We love Jordan. <laughs> Jordan, I gotta watch it now. Yeah. Jordan is king. We love him Hell so yeah. much. Yes. What about bananas? Did you ever we lo- look, we love Johnny Bananas, but he mm. won't give me the time of day. Mm. <laughs> he will not give me I've gone on Joe Rogan. I've been bragging about these guys. <laughs> Johnny Bananas, I would unfollow. I don't like to be the person that unfollows and, and follows again. It's not, I'm not even doing it in like a pay attention to me and follow yeah. me back. Yeah. I'm doing it because I start, my feelings start to get hurt. I'm like, you're not going to follow me back. And then I'm like, oh, it's okay. I don't care. But we bought his picture. I from- bought your picture, oh. Johnny. I'm a fan. <laughs> all right. But I, I bought. I know who that um, is. No. I mm. bought. Uh, in the challenge, do you watch the challenge? You just I've, know. I've been slacking. Okay. My sisters loved it, and then I would like catch on. But I met bananas, and how was he? Good. Great, we right? we went out. We karaoke together. Oh. It, Ooh, I'm getting closer. You Damn. guys got to get bananas on here because I feel bananas. like he likes talking about the challenge. Yes. No, I I feel like there's a there's a connection there, but mm-hmm. he's resisting and it's okay. I surrender to the fact that he has not surrendered and I trust oh. in the future. He's just busy or something. You he know. might be busy. He hasn't seen it. Maybe he's not sure, but then we okay, so we're yeah. always like we're very close to Kyle and I follow each other, but we haven't met. Nerese, who's the new hottie. We follow each other. I haven't gotten Olivia who is the best. Okay, so Olivia is this she's a new challenger she's from Love Island. She won one season. She was doing a slingshot during the during the final challenge, and it flipped up. And she already had hurt her fingers, so she's bleeding out of her hand. It flipped up and it hit her between the eyes. It's a cut I've never seen in my life. The before. ball, the the, the, oh. the golf ball. It was a golf ball, and it was, it was as fast shooter. as she could go because she's trying to shoot it across, Ooh. and it flipped, and it hit her here. She's gushing blood. She's like, "Can I keep going?" She's like. Oh my god! It was in five places. She is a oh. queen. I'm obsessed with her. She her extensions were showing the whole time. She's like my like ratty extension. I'm like, yes, girl, show your extensions. Mm-hmm. And she's Ooh. just great. She's such a hottie. She's so cute. Oh, I need to Did watch it. Did she have it. to get off the show? Yeah, she got off because she just could. It was like that. It was. Do they have seasons or can you jump in at any time? Is it ongoing? They have seasons. Okay. I would say I'm not going to say what I usually say. We'll find the right season. I'll send you the right season. Okay. But yeah, you'll I see watch some it. of your your faves. Yeah. Like Fessy's a regular now. Okay. And we love. Actually, I I'm going to love Fessy a lot too. Yeah. Love. And yeah. then Josh was like an animal in there. Okay. Josh was wild. Yep. Josh is getting things thrown at him, throwing things. Oh, I Who's love the it. worst big brother person? Oh, can you guys all see, say the, it at the same time? The, you think or, great, the worst are good to me, right. mm. like yeah. like Evil Dick. Like yes, I, I, I miss Evil Dick. that. How big... about when? Remember when Evil Dick found out he had AIDS on? <laughs> yes, you guys. There's a the name moment. was the fitting. only thing better than bananas stealing money from the teacher <laughs> is when Evil Dick's gone, and all of a sudden we're like, where'd Evil Dick go? <laughs> H- do you have AIDS or HIV? HIV I, I can't remember, but yeah. He manifested that. that is, yeah, he said evil dick. He said, I got yeah. an evil dick. Yeah. So evil Let me gonna show you. you. It's going to kill you. Yeah. And then um, his daughter, Nikki, yes. so beautiful. Rachel. Then, I just love. Rachel. There hasn't Dr. been. Dr. Will King. There hasn't been people like that in a long time. Mm-hmm. They're making it. They're trying to make it more commercial, more. Uh, yeah, I know. And it's. I just miss those type of fights. Y'all ever like when a season starts and it's that first episode and they get in the house? I'm always like, I hate who are these people. motherfuckers? Yeah, they suck. They suck. <laughs> and then and it they takes always. A- <laughs> they always get you. It like, takes a while for people to get. Yeah, it takes a while to get used to them. But the first couple of episodes, you're like, who are they? Yeah. <laughs> yep. How funny is it? What's the guy's name that they keep bringing back? Who got voted off um, that first time? And I saw him at the Rose Bowl flea market three times. Uh, <laughs> what? Three times. That's three beautiful. separate times within a span of like two years. You got to break Just up with your boyfriend. Shopping. What Are was you married? Yeah. Oh, you got to break up with your husband. Yeah, we've been together 16 years. You've been married 16 years? We've been married 13. Yeah. Thir- yeah, 12, 13. I can't remember. Could be 14. We make up numbers on everything we say because we're like, dude. You know, times just yeah. always yeah. changing and, I, and can't keep up with I never it. thought I'd be one of those people that, like, didn't know the year. 
Yeah. You'd hear you'd hear people oh. like, oh, 15 seconds. No, I'm like, how no. do you not know? After a while, you just don't know anymore. When you don't have like the structure of a nine to five does keep you in check. You know where you are. You, you I check have no a calendar. Clue what time anything is. The pandemic made everything crazy. Mm, even everything. More, yeah, even crazier. Yeah, but it's just I can't, yeah, I don't know what day it is. I work on Saturday. I work every night, so I don't mm-hmm. know. Yeah. Like, yeah. Do you have a gig that I don't know? I, I don't know. know. Maybe. I know. It's oh, a gosh. lot for sure. Overwhelming at times for sure. And now you're on tour. Yeah, I leave in three weeks. We're going on a little two month run. Great. So yeah. Are you with CAA? No, I'm with um, WME. WME. Mm-hmm. That'd be fun. If we, I know we have the same business manager. Yes. It's so funny. <laughs> We're not with the same people on our team, but yeah. it's cute. And then your manager, mm-hmm. he was like, she's so excited. I go, oh my God, you got Chelsea Lynn. Look at you. <laughs> now, how did you, so what happened when you like kind of broke into having managers and agents and stuff? Was it just you got the following and they came to you or did you, were you like, I'm Yeah, ready? I got the following um, and I had been doing, I started the whole social media thing. 10 years ago quit my nine to five five years ago and i think i got management two years ago yeah um i had grown the following and then i had randomly decided to never done stand up before ever open yeah. my nothing randomly decided i was like let me let me try this yeah so i booked a show with a friend in dallas we sold out like six shows in a yeah. weekend and then that's when the agents and yeah, managers like, oh, started emailing. Let's get started, a little 10% yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let, let me get. Let's let set me up a meeting. Yeah. So, so I, I um, God, I met with like everybody. I came up to LA and I spent like a week just meeting, you know, and finally picked, finally picked who I wanted to work with. And it's been, it's been popping. Isn't stand up fun? I love it. Isn't it's it terrifying, so fun? but in the best way. Yeah, in the best way. It's um. Yeah, dude. It oh god, the adrenaline and there's yeah. nothing I've never never experienced anything like it. Look at that. Look at the baby. <laughs> He's so cute. Yeah, he Look is. at him. I love him. We He's a, a character. He I needs to he be. Is. Isn't he such a funny thing? Mm-hmm. He oh, does have an Instagram, but I'm lazy on it. Him. Oh, oh, my. oh you He's like music? Podcast. <gasps> the fact that he's just sitting there. He's a podcast producer. <laughs> Randy. Look at our podcast. Randy, how's Rand- the podcast? How are the levels? <laughs> are the levels good, Rand? I can't even hear. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, I love my guy. Oh, I love my little boy. Look at him. Oh, that little penis we can't see. <laughs> little. Oh, my I, little That guy. is the smallest one I've seen on a... Randy. My dog is... Probably smaller than half the size of Randy. He's tiny, huge, huge old wiener. Huge. We make fun of him all the time. We're like, "You're so small." He's got this big. Just dragging hunger. on the ground. Yeah. Well, that's like my, my favorite line to strangers. Like, oh my god, your dog is a huge dick. It's like my favorite thing to say to people. <laughs> I wanted shit. to do like I want to do a like a man on the street where I just go to a dog park and just like oh talk to people about the dogs. Like, Please do that. So you get crusty yeah. on the tip. Oh, <laughs> a crusty yeah. tip. The red rockets are funky. Oh, God. Well, his gets so stuck many. out. We have to like put lube on it to get it back in sometimes. Oh. Randy's like. WD. W40. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all creepy <laughs> when he's banging. <laughs> Randy, look at him. Randy. He's, he's so got a tin funny. man penis. Rand, what happened to your teeth? Look they took him. your teeth off. Look they took at your teeth him. out. That's my favorite part. They took all your teeth out and only left those two. Randy. Well, it's oh, good because dogs. he can't like bite my nieces, you know? Yeah, no. He can't do anything. We're at an hour. Yeah. Oh, He's got shit. two little puppies. Oh, does that mean we're done here? <laughs> do we gotta go? Yeah, you gotta go. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> you guys get out of here. <laughs> this was so fun. I know. I wanna be on a chat thread with you guys. A chat what, what's dog? That? Let's let's do text thread. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Text. yeah. So I can yeah, send yeah. each other vids of yep. weird things we're doing. Let's 100%. do it. Oh, I gotta show you this vid we She's did. She's really good at texting. I'll show you this vid we did yesterday. I'm so bad at texting. So I'm sorry. Have, that's okay. Hold but on. whatever, we'll figure. Let we'll, me no, show. put me on the thread. We'll but I will figure out our connection. The way we stay connected. It will. We will stay connected. Yes. Okay. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. No, I love you guys. Let I'm me show so you this excited. vid. Push play. Don't show the camera. Whitney, <laughs> I know this house. <laughs> <laughs> How much is your OnlyFans? <laughs> How 
how much is it? <laughs> or your Patreon? Five dollars. I don't show that. <laughs> oh, you don't no, show that. hell no. <laughs> hell no. I was like, guys, this is worth five dollars. Straight up spread. Well, that also, is I'll, so. I do. By the way, is Whitney not the best naked person? Is she not? Dude. Did you not see her butthole first? She, we came she in and hugged her, and her tits were oh, out yeah. of her sports she bra. Her tits out. <laughs> she had her tits out. Mm. Um, I saw Whitney's, but the minute I went to her house, that's beautiful. By the way, gorgeous. <laughs> Perfect perfection. perfection. Dead. Dude. Those perfection. are the videos Actually, you'll get. What, you got your grandmother's vagina. That's, that's the a type of shit. Back from Trust Tuesday. Yes, mm-hmm. that's the type of shit I wish I could post, but I just can't do. I can't do pussy. I post a lot of. I do post tits, but not in a sexual, yeah, hot way. A it's funny, a funny yeah. way. Like we'll do. I'll like smash it. You know, yeah, stuff like that. But God, I wish I could post that. That's, that's a little too so much for me. Funny. I'm just gonna show everybody I meet now. I yeah. love it. It's so funny. That is the. Oh. Gosh, I wish you could post I it. I know. Oh. I should have done one with my butthole. Oh, well, what if God. you did N- next time? Instead of showing the vag, you do like your tour dates here, and it zooms in on your tour dates. But I'd have to send that to someone to edit. No, <laughs> dude, we could do that right now. Are you sure? Maybe oh, you just yeah. have it covered. That's and I, then send there it needs to, them. to be, dude. Yes, I wish you could just put the post though. But I know. I can't. The way you, you guys can't. Yes, send each other is so precious. Do you see what I'm saying? She's like, I, I want you to be able trying to, to find a way. Try- spread the word, spread the lame. Yes, trying to find a way. Now, do you do vag on a. Oh, no. I wouldn't. Vag just feels too for yeah. me. Well, who knows? You sh- on she other people's. Pubes. Yeah, yeah, my pubes, pubes take them. over the. Yeah, mine are not. And I'm not mine trying. Don't push out like yours. They're big, but they're not like. Oh, dang. Well. Yours really like yours look like they've been picked. I don't even barely. I just itch them. Yeah, I never comb Fluff them. them really nothing. But uh, I do do two pube updates up here and one none. How are long you are yours? Guy, Todd? He just has to be whatever I am. Uh, I ha- yeah, yeah. I manscape. I literally manscape. It's it's our sponsor, but I do I manscape because we I don't want to deal with I don't want to deal with burns, ingrown, ingrown hairs, all that stuff. So I just. I just, you know, Todd can just deal with it. Well, how long are your pubes right now? Let us see. This is how long they get. Okay, that's good. It's not that long, right? Let me see if I could pluck one. No, I wouldn't say. So I wouldn't say that. That's about mine too. I can grow mine, and that's about this. The oh, yeah. got one. She just plucked a pube. Look how long that is, Todd. <laughs> oh my gosh, it has, a, it has a split end. <laughs> That's so Look, funny. You need it, to get a carotene treatment. It how does long would that That's be? Beautiful. Where are you going to put much that? How you, you can sell that for? Where should we put it? I don't you know. Put it right on there. The don't put it in a red, in the a red bowl. Put it in the cactus. Okay. It'll match in. People well. have asked me if I'd shave them and sell them, but I don't know yet. Locks of oh, love. Oh, it fell. Dude. That's actually like, yeah, that's, I'm sure there's people that would take like a human mark in. Oh yeah, pubes are great. What's a merkin? Merkin's okay. like a, it's like a toupee for your yeah crotch. Okay, I can make mustaches maybe for the yeah. men who can't grow facial hair. For oh my god, your brothers. Yeah. Todd's cool. the only uh, boy in his half Asian family that can grow facial oh, hair. Oh wow. We'll send him my Look way. At the massage. Oh. Stop. <laughs> he likes it. Look, <laughs> Randy, you are spoiled. <laughs> he really is. When we come home, he doesn't greet us at the door. He makes us come get him. He's just waiting for us. We're like, and we can't believe it. We're like, you're not even gonna come down at all. Like, we feed you, Randy. What's he doing? Just sitting up He's in the just bed, lying, waiting for us. You have those dog stairs. We do have dog stairs, but he can jump up. He's got very long legs. That is true. We're hearing what? music Uh-oh. in the background. Music. He got scared. It's just Randy. Thank Randy! you so much, though, oh, this for was having so us on. Do you have things you want to plug? Obviously, we'll put your Instagrams up, but if you want to just say them. Yeah, my Instagram is Chelsea Lynn. You'll find me on there. Um, come see me at a show. You can go to eatmytrash.com. That's my website. <laughs> Get yourself a ticket. Do it. Yeah. And my Instagram's Paige Jen, and I'm pretty much on every app that you probably have on your phone. So <laughs> just look for that name, please. Yeah. I mean, and thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you spread for having us. Spread the joy, you guys. Spread the labs and spread the joy. Amen. This has been so fun. We learned so much about fart noises and why all of our episodes have been suppressed. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You find out, you find something out each time. All right. Thanks, guys. <laughs> 
this is any wood, we ain't gotta pretend, cause this is all real steel from beginning to end. This is any wood, we ain't gotta pretend, cause this is all real steel from beginning to end. Raised as a twin, I'm a slug with bananas, got bogues and rolls, yet I pose for the cameras. Rolling on my scooter and you know I'm looking fresh, eating my banana, drinking a liquid death. This is any wood, we manifest the check, just open up a door and Nesta was on the steps. This is any wood, we manifest the check, just open up a door and Nesta was on the steps. Yeah.